Ah, shit, now he's got me. Start recording. Xbox, record that. Xbox, turn off. Yes. I don't need every part. That's right, because I had to teach you that you have to say yes afterwards. You didn't know yeah. that at first. Yeah, you didn't. And then you you really just thought I wasn't going to do anything with that information. Because <laughs> you, you didn't just, like, inform me. You were taunting me. You're like, ha-ha, you have to confirm it, actually. And then you just didn't put headphones in. So, like, ten minutes later, I fucking just turned off your fucking Xbox. God. <laughs> the real shit was the person whose gamer tag was Xbox turn off. That was whoever claimed that's that like, was the luckiest motherfucker. That's like fucking TF2 where they're like Alt F10 or some shit like that. It was like Alt F10 Enter or whatever. Because everybody knows the the old Alt F4, but nobody knew that one first. Like <gasps> specifically source games. Oh, uh... Type in the promo code unbind all into the developer console for a free hat. <laughs> I'm just gonna pee. Oh shit. I should go and try that on a trade server with kids. <laughs> I wanna oh, know if some work. dipshit does it. It would work, dude. You're so fucked then. You can't even open chat. You probably have to open like the any files to bind <laughs> keys. <laughs> oh yeah, because I like completely unbuzz even escape or anything. Oh my god. Oh god. So I'm now streaming with. Mm. If you want to see. <laughs> the only downside is you can't get the kid's reaction because it also unbinds the voice key. So that's kind of sad, but... Oh, it looks kind of sick. If you yeah. just see them stop moving, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's supposed to react to whenever anyone's talking. In that's sick. Pretty nice. Uh, I gotta log into this shit, too. Just keep, stop logging me out of shit, Get fucking computer. I hate it. And now it's just, uh, just missing Ayla and... Well, I guess so... I have to also make one for uh, alternate timeline. So now that fucking Tullius and Ayla are jerking each other off in the stands, I will win this fight on my own. Because I'm a badass. Yeah, so there we go. Cool. That end. It's fucking heavy. I will be honest, though, with this huge fucking Doctor Strange portal that opened up in hell, this is a very tiny monster. I think I thought you just shrunk it, but it like it was much bigger in reality. Like a there you go, heavy. It's in the Bonnie wall to chat. Yay. Okay, no, I need a PNG if you. Don't... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. How do I do that? Uh, booth, and then a transparent background. If you don't mind, just remove the. Base. Um. Token and portrait booth is part of the Hero Forge Pro subscription. Oh, then fuck it. Can you send me the link to your character and I can do that myself? Share? Is that what I would do? Share? I Copy so. that? Yeah, share. You've right. been leaving life and I love. I'll get you added into the. I'll make a little. Oh, shit. This is. Okay, I need to make a tab or a separate window all by itself so we don't see me uh, do anything I need. Level 20 is from one that's in a moment. Oh, they do! They light up and they wiggle! I love it! <laughs> yeah, it's it's actually... I'm gonna implement it with yours, I think, already. Uh, oh. Booth. Transparent. Head bay. This is the wrong photo to be shown. Psych. That's the wrong window. Whoops. There we go. Now it's normal. We can uh, start by... Oh, thank you, Terry. Trying to get this up. Yeah, you just keep talking, though. So. <laughs> oh. You can always be like, hey, brother, <laughs> shut up. Oh, fucking I'm not. 
Yeah, Some of us that are participating in this session would like to play Shut heavy. Shut the fuck up. How I talk to my opponent or say what I'm I know, and that's what the pills are for. <laughs> <laughs> Here you are. Now try to say something. Hello. Sweet. Yeah, am, I, am I wiggling? Yeah, you are. Best quality for wiggles. I can actually change how far you wiggle. Can you make like our characters have fucking seizures every time we talk? Uh, hold on. Also, sticks. You'll you'll like this one. So someone on the Shower Thoughts subreddit says, Woo! someone is literally the <laughs> dumbest person on the planet. Do you know what one of the top comments is? Absolutely true. I work for him. Woo! Woo! It's cut off, but... Woo! It doesn't apply to everyone. I have to... Aww. Wiggle. All right. Turn that back down, because I don't care for it. <laughs> All right. And now I wonder if I'll ever make a character with a last name. <laughs> Waffles, you're being a bitch. Stop. One word. I think I have. Thing for me. Anyways, yeah. I'm not going to say anything more. Oh, okay. Got Hila. All right, certain go ahead and say something for me. Hello, I am oh. speaking. Hello. Sweet. All right, now your character opens their mouth whenever you're speaking. Uh... <laughs> I wish it was dependent on how loud your individual character was, and it'd be like, uh, ah! Can you guys hear me now? Yep. Yes. What the f- I don't know what that was about. Okay, let's try this now. <clears throat> you guys see me? Uh. Yes, I see you, friend. Thank you. So There you are. Oh, there we are. I just wanted to show this off real quick. So this is what I'm doing for my Saturday crew. I've got to paint it, but oh, gee. oh hell yeah, it's a it's a mini, and then oh okay. That's question: Do it. you have an attachment where there's two heads to put back in? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So okay, now what happens when they chop those heads off, though? Do you just are you gonna like go like keep buying heads, just get the infinite tree going? Um, well, that's a good question. So, um, there's five twos and five ones, and so they have to be, um... Okay, so once they deplete all the ones, you're just gonna have to start getting some super glue and sticking the ones onto the twos. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll see what happens. Because honest, <laughs> honestly, that I, I'm I'm excited about it. I've I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I'm trying to set up for it. So. <clears throat> I'm a mess. I'm gonna drop the camera now. Okay. You weren't planning on putting that on stream, were you? No, I don't have. Okay, good, because I I look like a mess, and this room looks awful too. Okay, Tarion. Hi. Hi. You ready? I'm ready to win. I have some tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> You've had time to think. I, I know exactly how I will come out of this in one piece. What the hell is going on? It's it's a little dark. That's not Ashley. Okay. You just call her a dog? Yeah, bro. I mean uh, if the collar fits. You should shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm recording. You shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> The collar fits with the hell. I'm being mean to them, not not. It, it's important to. You're not God today. Look, look. All I'm saying is, whatever happens between consenting consenting adults is fine. Oh. I mean, it's not false. <laughs> uh... I'm gonna say though, bro. I did not really appreciate the comment about the role playing. Oh, the teasing? Yes. Oh. Okay. What were we flaming heavy about? Nothing. Don't oh. worry about it. I mean, it's fine if you want to tell them what you said, but. Ah, oh, I gotta um... hear it. I gotta hear it. You just wagged your finger at me. I won't say anything. It's fine if you. Because honestly, I don't remember. The day was very long. That's fair. <laughs> so. It was long. We were in the middle of Texas heat with humidity. Mm -hmm. Oh, that crazy. sounds awful. <laughs> very humid day. Very, yeah. And when wearing three layers did not help. Nope. Why the fuck is any wedding in Texas not, like, in a pool? <laughs> Good question. Nah, see, baptisms are in the pool. Not weddings, though. And? Just make the wedding extra holy. Fuck it. Head down, head on down to the trailer park's fucking community pool, have oh, a fucking no. priest bless it, turn it into holy water, and just have the damn wedding there. If you're gonna insist on having your wedding in in like early June in Texas, it shouldn't be suits and dresses. It should be. You should casual. at least. You should at least spring for it to all be inside the entire time. Like dress shirt and tie at most. It, it basically was dress shirt and tie. It wasn't suit. Him. Suit for the groom. But he was perfectly fine. Hmm. That's a lizard, man. Be tell your sister to be careful. <laughs> oh, that's rich coming from you. <laughs> what? I see, it makes sense in the context of D and D. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, were we in the middle of combat? You used the word "we" there. You did use the word "we." That was weird. That sounds weird. Yeah, you two left your testicles at home, so I'm doing the fighting. Hey, uh, old man got I old mean, man. at least I have an excuse. 
true. <laughs> I, I literally just <laughs> reart confused though. He's uh, a lady. My uh, character's a girl. Uh, yeah, that's your. Right I literally left them at home. Alright, so what monster do I see before me? Oh, hi, kid. Uh, I guess it's, I guess it's Ellie Joe. Is your... The freaking buggy, the freaking... Your computer in here, and the internet. See, that's convenient, because this character has no emotional attachment to her. Okay. Hooray! <laughs> oh. Yep, that's an accurate sound effect. <laughs> of a velociraptor. Word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, here you go. I just thought of that. <laughs> Updating your script to include a combat pose by the bot. Thirty seconds. In. Oh wait, oh, hold on. I can do it this way. Oh. Uh. Boom! There you go. <clears throat> Battle music. Oh God! What the fuck? <laughs> Yo! Holy shit! Do music. All right. Here's the question, though. Is the combatant actually scary, or does Sticks just have good taste in music? Can't it be both? Mm -hmm. Technically, yes, I mean, but I don't I like thinking right, of the that. The zoomed-in picture of that is actually pretty fucking terrifying. Oh, it's horrifying. Right, I'm saying that, that's a big summoning circle for like, that little itty-bitty thing. Oh, I, I want to... Oh, big things come in small packages. You ready, bud? That's my motto, is big to go. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Big portal for such a small thing to come out, huh? And by small, I mean that's its size is small. I'm gonna fucking kick it. Okay. Well, okay, well, no, I'll let you finish describing it before I decide to kick it. <laughs> As this beast... Claws its way up out of the ground. I'm going to copy another image of what one may look like. And give you guys that. Ah, uh, yes. That's not so bad. It's, fu it's like fucking Satan and Sonic. I can deal with that. <laughs> Satan and Sonic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so. Yes, in fast. The liquid hot magma. Shooting out of the ground around it as it pulls itself up and out. It gives a guttural scream in a language none of you understand. Now hold on, I speak goblin. Uh, yep, yeah, not a gob goblin. Uh, if only I was Chusk. Then I would understand. <clears throat> Maybe. I would. And it immediately takes to the sky. Well, that's not good. And pulls <laughs> a trident clear out of the air. What is shit? I think Sora's mad. It looks around for a target. Uh... <clears throat> oh, does he see me flexing? That's right, you did flex. Yeah, you, you got to rolled crowd an 18 going. Plus uh, flex mods, which were what again? I don't know, what was the modifier? I believe it was perform... Uh, no, we didn't do performance. We did your strength mod, I believe, right? That was or... intimidation? 
No. No, I'm not intimidating. I'm just I'm flexing for the audience. Yeah. Riling up the crowd. It was it athletics? I think we used your athletics check for that. Yeah. All right. Well, that's plus five. Cool. So that was a twenty-three total. So I mean, I'm I'm pretty hot shit right now. <clears throat> I'm dual wielding two weapons right here. Cool. So, Milos. Yes. Being the center of attention draws it to you. Roll initiative. Oh, no. That's a six. Six. Okay. I wish I was big right now. He wouldn't get that. Can you guys see that? It looks yeah. like it's. Yeah. I can turn see order turn box. order. Thank okay, God I put on the bracelet. This is, this is a life lesson, kids. Never give in to peer pressure. If someone tells you don't put on the bracelet because it, it makes you a pussy, don't listen to them. You come across this shit. Uh, and I need to roll, huh? One. 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 Uh, uh, that's not. That's 13 more there, than I was hoping for. There is a one in there, though, so I guess that's like a be careful what you wish for type of seat. Fucking mm-hmm. genie bullshit. Uh, so that would be. Yes, that is higher than mine. Cool. Me first. Woo. Let's see here. What's the distance between us? 60 foot. Okay. That'll help you out as well. Hopefully. Possibly. It will. Hopefully. <clears throat> We're 60 foot apart. Maybe that'll help you out. However, remember, it's up in the air as well. I should have packed more javelins. <laughs> <laughs> I have four of them. I better make it count. It is going to use two Attacks on its first turn on you. Hey, hey. It is going to fling itself around just as Sonic does. However, whenever it flings around, its tail is going to whip and spines from the tail are going to shoot out at you. So that would be a seven. Does that hit? No. Okay, into 20. Yeah. Okay. The spine flies out and pegs you in the shoulder, doing four piercing damage to you. And for a split second, everything stings before you feel a burning sensation. As you take three fire damage from the spine embedded in you. Oh, that's not good. So that's four plus three? Yes, so seven total. You know, at first I was like, oh, four damage, this guy's a little pussy, that's fine. And then the fire damage happened, and I was like, okay, well, hold on. <laughs> so, your turn. Actually, I'll make it a little bit... I, I, actually, I'm going to have him move closer as well. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. He's going to be there. He's 20 feet off the ground, by the way. So, your turn. All right. Well, let's see. Now, how long is a javelin?
It should. I believe say. the average javelin is like five foot, if I think, if I'm thinking oh. correctly. Oh, never mind. That doesn't help. You can throw them. I was just saying, if it was long enough and I was tall enough, I could stab it. If I go under it and just give it a stab, but yeah, that's not going to happen. Oh yeah, no. So, all right. Well, I'll throw it and hope it doesn't land in the lava. Uh, rolled a fucking hit. It's an 18. That hits. Get fucked, loser. Was I supposed to activate rage? Did I forget to do that again? You did, but you can. I'll, I'll go ahead and allow it since you just mentioned that you forgot. Go ahead and. Uh, go ahead and. Um, I'm fucking angry. Advantage is up. Plus two melee damage. Is this a strength weapon? Two strength weapons. It is a. Yeah, it is. It, you get a plus three to it, so that means that it's your plus three modifier from strength. So yes, it is a strength weapon. All right, you cunt. One d six plus five. <laughs> no, I don't say that out loud. I don't. I don't want to fucking. I don't want to get have the crowd against me. Or is the crowd just us two? Or so that's uh, no, no. no the, it's there. it's. It's full again, but I didn't want to have to. And so is here. Five minutes last time, like last time doing that. All right. So I I got it for eight damage. Eight damage. Wow. Okay. I'm fucking mad about it. So eight damage. You pierce it hard. It drops its trident as you slash your or. As you toss uh, the javelin into the air, piercing it back in the shoulder, it drops the the uh, trident to the ground and tries to collect itself. So it's on the ground, or did it just drop the trident? It it dropped the trident. Okay. Uh, I think that's all I can do. Uh, you've done your bonus action, and you've done your action. So, yes, sir. So, uh, yeah. Eat that. Sonic. Sonic Hero! Sonic Heroes! Okay. It's going to use the rest of its movement to come right on you. Uh, no dinner first? Monk ass. I am the dinner! What are you talking about? <laughs> And guess there before it fucks you. It is going to grab onto you. Oh no. And bite down. Oh. Oh no. As it goes to bite you, the pain in its shoulder calls back to it and it re it releases and um kind of falls back from you a bit oh this guy's fucked now It gives off another scream before um really that's all it can do for now. It's your turn. All right, well I feel as if this motherfucker Okay, so I'd like to pull out my hand axes. Can I pull out my hand axes? As you are currently unarmed, you absolutely can. I pull out my hand axes. Mm -hmm. Miss number one, number two. I haven't given them any names yet. And uh, yeah, let's let's get a couple slashes in there. So I so just to clarify, so I do this correctly. 
the two the two weapon fighting means I use the other weapon as a bonus action, right? Correct, but you you're already raging, so you don't have to worry about raging again this turn. Well, that's the other question. Was if I was okay, so the rage is still good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wow, but barbarians are awesome. However, I will let you know. Um, since you're using your bonus action for the secondary attack with a hand axe, you don't add anything to the damage roll. You just roll the d6, and just that's all you get for damage is the d6. So for the so for the uh, bonus action weapon is just the straight damage with no Correct. extra. Okay. Yeah. The you, main you still weapon get the, gets extra. To hit, you still get the plus five, but the damage is just the one d6. For both of them, or just the bonus? Just the bonus. Okay. Okay, and that and that'd be two different rolls to hit. Correct. Oh no! Ooh. Oh no! So those were plus fives, correct? So at yeah, ten, ten and an eight. Yeah. Those both those both missed, unfortunately. Ah, fuck! As you swing in your rage to try and hit this beast that pinned you in the shoulder with its spine. It's a with its tail spine spike. That twinge in your shoulder calls to you as well. You haven't pulled that spine out yet, and it just kind of digs just a little bit deeper as you go. And both your swings miss. I have an uncomfy feeling in my shoulder. You're now breathing manually. Shut the fuck up. You asshole. <laughs> Your tongue is, is salivating profusely. Ha ha ha. Always is, idiot. <laughs> okay. Um, so that was your action and bonus action. Since you did take an attack, you are still raging. Oh, he is raging harder than ever now. <laughs> yeah. So that would be two rounds down so far. Uh, you have eight more rounds of rage before it dies by itself. So, oh, this will be over one way or the other by then, <laughs> or not. You do take like reduced damage, I think, in rage. It's gonna go back and grab the <clears throat> trident and come back over to you, and it is going to make two attacks. The first one with the trident. Oh, that's probably going to miss. That Actually, yeah, that'll miss. That's a six. And the second one, he's going to go for another bite at you. Uh, that one is an 11. No. No? Okay. Well, guess we, what? That's its turn. We both suck at this. <laughs> over there in this. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So for the audience, it looks like they're just kind of dancing around each other. Kind of like the whole Obi Wan and Anakin spinning their sabers fight right now. But this is like the worst choreographed WWE match ever. Like, fucking no one's convinced. Well, you know what? Tried and true method. Let's go for a double axe attack. One of them hit. At least. Both of them hit. Ow. So the first one would be the 1d6 plus 3 plus 2 for the rage, and the other is just 1d6. Correct. Okay. Let's do the first one. That's 7. Then the other one. There's two. Nine in total. You watch as you slash through it. It seems like magma oozes out of its body where you hit and then solidifies. And it seems like that first hit should have done a decent freaking amount to it. However, as the magma hardens, 
<clears throat> on its body and scars up. It just kind of... <laughs> and shakes it off. God, I hope this isn't like an enemy where I have to figure out the clever weakness because I'm fucked. Well, uh, that's all I got. Okay. My turn! <laughs> well, uh, looks like we're going to be going for another fork and bite. Fork is first, bite second. So, 10 and 13. The 13 matches my armor class. The bite hits then. Dealing five slashing damage. So, so, so do I get resistance for slashing with the rage? Plus two to the resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. So, yeah, so you would actually take, I said five, so you would take four, uh, two damage. This is best class ever, fuck fighter. Your turn. All right, you know what? I know he's not very creative, but it works. Let's go for the double axe attack. And, you know, um, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like just sort of slashing at its body's not doing anything. Can I try to decapitate this motherfucker with my swings? Can I do what Thor never did and aim for the head? You want to you wanna try cutting its head off? Okay, yeah, go ahead. If, I, you I, hit, if you hit high enough, then I will make that thing dig deep. I just want to let you know where I'm aiming. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, go right ahead. Different. Oh, yeah. If you tell me where you're targeting, it absolutely makes a difference. All right, so let's do double 20s. Ooh. All right, all right. Good. That first hit hits hard at a 22. The second one, because of the swing power in the first one, the second one misses. That's all right. That's so, all right. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll damage for that first one. You still get the bonuses and stuff with that first one, so. Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh! Nice, nice. That's, that's a fucking 11. Ooh. Total, that's 11? Okay. You cut deep, and the screaming and guttural noises coming from this monster <clears throat> stops. As you can hear it starting to... <laughs> and, um... Hold on, real six... Sorry, real quick. Um... Yeah, no, that'll do it, actually. That kills it straight out. It starts drowning in its own magma blood. That's metal as fuck. Oh my god, that is metal nice. as fuck. Coughing it out, and the oh. audience is roaring. As it collapses to the ground, the trident disappears. I barely broke a fucking sweat. Uh, I'd like to flex for the audience. Go for it. All right, you know, it's it's not the greatest flex. Eight plus five, uh, 13. Oh, okay, hold on just a second. I got to get my freaking dog under check real quick. I had no idea Barbarian was so fucking awesome. <laughs> How come Sor was such a useless piece of shit? Well, I know why, because I didn't put any points in Charisma. But, you know. 
And Aston can't do dick. This guy, though. He took on a hell beast and survived. Can I just kill off Aston and just put this guy in Bifa? Saying <laughs> that. That would hurt me. I thought you'd throw a party if Aston died. I did. God, I bet Sora is fucking pissed.
They were getting a little aggressive. Y'all do it. Pretty good. I'm doing great. Good, good. Oh, heavy. Have, have you watched Inside yet? Correct. By Bo Burnham? I new, his new special? No, I haven't watched it yet. Oh, it's on Instagram. Heavy. It's it's heavy. It's really good, though. It's really good. Okay. Like, very visually creative. You would enjoy it. And all of the songs were posted to Spotify today. Cool. Like the one hit White Woman's Instagram. I at least saw that pop up on Reddit. Didn't get a chance to listen. Oh, good. No, it's best if you just like watch the whole special like in a row. Like it's so good. I'd say I have a new low for looking for. I have been ghosted after an interview. Bam. Go. Two days ago. Hey. Two weeks. Just checking in on things. That's fucked up. Yeah. I, um, if I desire, ha did get the Renaissance job, but there is also a different job that is in the works that if I get that one, I would much rather take that one. Yeah. Because it is just office work at a tax office, answering phone, you know, making appointments, things like that. And it's just a Monday to Friday, nine to five. Penis, right. penis, penis. Hi. Sorry, dog pissed on the floor. So that's <clears> fine. <throat> Was it carpet? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it takes care of itself then. Uh, <laughs> he, he's already lived in a place that had cat pee everywhere. I'm pretty sure he doesn't want. That. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's I not. It, it's like the, the floor is its own rag. Right. It's fine. Well, there we go. Now we're in the. Normal overlay where no one combat. Woo. Hey, what? I have two overlays. One is for combat and one is for non combat. What you thought? Oh. Yeah, it sticks. It's called production value. Give it the picture. I said, you switch back to the combat one? Hey, sticks. I got a question. Mm hmm. Uh, can, can I gauge uh, Sora's reaction to all this? Now you killed um, his pet bird, too. Well, um... He doesn't seem happy. I'll yeah, kill all his pets. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> You're coming for the whole goddamn zoo. <laughs> Out of character. What the fuck else are you gonna throw at us? We just killed a hell beast. Fuck off. Super hell beast. So, uh, yeah, you know, I'm flexing, you know, I'm taking the moment. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there anything else I should be concerned about? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, real concerned. All right. Why are you concerned? Why you're saying things? What do you mean? <clears throat> I 
Hey, can I get a good job from the fucking audience? Hoggers. They're already roaring. They're already roaring for you. How about yeah, my actual crazy. friends, asshole? Oh. Oh, God. oh, I assume we were roaring too, because we're in the crowd. Yeah. We're fucking ripping and roaring. Doing a great fucking job, Milos. Can't really hear me from this. Yay! Hmm. I wonder if I'm amassing groupies by now. <laughs> Here we go. How do you get a sponsor? To sponsor me in the arena. The ground goes ablaze again. Let's switch back. As Sora stands up, golf clapping, that arrogant slow clap, you know, that most people do in uh, movies and such, whenever they. You mean the clapping on. that happens when a villain says, oh, that was all part of the plan when you know damn well it wasn't? <laughs> yeah. Like they're just using that the extra like ten seconds where they slowly clap to like think up like how they're gonna pivot out of this. <laughs> like, I internal dialogue with Sora right now is shit shit shit. Yes, you've fallen right into my trap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're doing it. Oh fuck. If I gotta kill Sora right now, I'd at least like a health potion, please. It's only fair. <laughs> Little did you know the Hell Beast used Destiny Bond on you. And it just makes me nervous because the last time I left off with Sora, he was at least level 5. So that's, you know, that's <laughs> another thing entirely. Yeah. Let's see here. Where did that video, where did that picture go? Uh, here we go. The crowd is roaring as you flex. Let me make sure I put this on my lair, so you can't see it yet. As Sora gets up and claps his slow clap, you watch as the ground begins to erupt again. Large bones begin to come up out of the ground before you see fleshy pieces stuck to them. It seems as if some sort of webbing, a large claw, shoots out. An eruption of lightning fires out from the ground. As you see a dragon's head oh. of some kind. Or what the fuck, man? The body pulls itself out. The skeletal remains of a dragon in front of you. Uh, it's hard to stab bone, but I'll try. <laughs> nope, wrong way. Man, I wish I had, like, a blunt weapon. Now that would do some damage. Right. Thora hushes the crowd. Very good job. 
You've done well. I will increase your reward by 20 times if you can take this one down. Or you can back out now. And take your meager prize. All right. Uh, Out of character thinking about it. He didn't say there was any risk to fighting this thing. So I feel like I might as well throw myself at it, die, get resurrected backstage, and then I'm fine. He says so. Out of the skeletal dragon's body shoots a lightning breath that turns the ground to glass. Um, well... Fuck it, when in Rome. Can he have health? Can he have help? Yeah, like, can Polius grab one of those bracelets and run down there? Uh, you can start if you want. Oh, I can start running, okay. I have a plan. When did you want to start running? Whenever the bones started coming up out of the ground? Or yeah. whenever, like, tell me when you wanted to start running. Yeah, that was once I, once Tolia's totally got a, an idea of what the fuck that thing is. Uh, you don't. Well, I mean, like, as soon as... I'm not talking about identifying what the actual thing is. I'm just talking about the fact that that thing is fucking terrifying. Huge and scary. And I get the feeling okay. that he needs some help. I have 14 health. I'm fine. How do you have 14 yeah. health? You got a shitload of health. How did you get health at all? I didn't get health. That's how much I have left. How do you have that much left? He's a barbarian. Yeah, I have 23 max HP right now. Oh shit, my stuff's outdated. Okay. Oh my gosh. Stop looking at my sheet. I'm yeah, what the fuck? Sheet. Don't look at my sheet. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, that's my bad. I'm going to have to. Oopsie doodles. All right. You know what? I'll take the I'll, I'll take this fucking guy. I I I'm too prideful to stand down from challenge. Even if, even if it'll really fucking hurt. Okay, I'll say that because of all the show and tell and stuff that coming from behind you, you hear shouting the voice of Tolius. Tolius. Yes. Uh, You're coming out on the field now behind him. Did I get one of those bracelets so I won't get murked? You did mention that, so yes. I, I, I will allow you to have a bracelet. Okay, yay. (laughs) <laughs> this is uh, Ayla's reaction to it. Uh, there's a timestamp there. No, I'm sorry. My companion, but uh, no. <laughs> we all have our own destinies and yours. Coming what a fucking you. pussy. <laughs> not oh, that's good. That. Okay. Uh, all right. If you insist. <laughs> Tolius is yelling uh, down the pathway. You're not going to fight him without me in this. Don't worry, Tolius. I think I have a plan. If the plan doesn't work, we're going to die. But What's the plan, it might work. <laughs> I'll appeal to its better nature. Oh, God. Got this. Tell me you only play charisma characters without telling me you only play charisma characters. <laughs> I'll, I'll, the barbarian is going to appeal to his better nature. It's fine. Okay, so the two of you want to fight it? I will fight it if Milos is fighting it. Okay. I'm not going to turn down a challenge in front of Sora. Cool. So. Roll initiative. Oh. Hey! 
fuck is that a trash? I saw A and looked and I saw a three. I'm like, what the fuck he's so happy about a three for? <laughs> I, I realized 18. it was heavy. Uh, that is four. Uh, negative two. Milos. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Tolius. That's four. Wow. Okay. Good job. I, I did my best. Okay. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm not burning the mulligan on on this. Okay. Okay, Dragon Boy is gonna roll a one. And um, I mean, fuck it. He just got summoned. He should be on a one. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, he should have summoning sickness actually. Plus, just like Yu-Gi-Oh. Sickness. Okay. What the fuck. What? 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 I heard a what the I heard a what the fuck. Okay. So Milos. I would like before I get my actions and whatnot out of the way, uh, I would like to, I would like to speak with this skeleton dragon. Okay. Can, can I talk to it? You've got a voice. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to it in draconic. And. Guys, what's a good what what's a good icebreaker for a skeleton dragon? <laughs> Do you like smooth jazz? Uh what is a good icebreaker for a skeleton dragon? Who knows how long to it's woo been the dead? dragon? I'm not trying to woo the fu no wrong character heavy. Now, say, why did you could... use the term icebreaker? That's that, like the connotations there are romantic. Not necessarily. It's all about the subtext. Here's a question. All right, I'd, I'd like. Don't sit on the keyboard. Huh? No. When it comes to story wise, when's the last time you guys know of that a dragon has existed? Way too fucking long ago. Almost like a story time ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then, but these are this isn't a dragon. These are just bones. Did Big rip this guy's heart out? Oh my god, Maple, please, Jesus Christ. Sora, what You're... the fuck? <laughs> Alright. No, because we took the bones of that dragon, so this ain't the same dragon. Yeah, uh... but no, it's it's like Skyrim where you take two bones. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's <laughs> That is very true. Whole thing's gone. <laughs> All right, you just I take would... the like the inside bones that like you can't notice, so like the full skeleton appears to be intact still. All right, so I'd like I'd like to speak to this undead dragon in Draconic. Okay. Uh, I I guess if you can understand. <laughs> oh God, I haven't practiced with the voice. If you can understand me. I'd rather not tangle with you. If I feel like it would be in both our best interests if you just went ahead and went back down the hell portal <laughs> or <go our> separate ways. <laughs> I don't know what else to fucking say to it. I can't talk to it. How are you spending your turn? I just assumed that was me talking. Oh shit, but I can't get the reaction until my turn's over. Yeah, and your rage is over. Yay! Alright, well... Your initial rage. You've got one more rage, by the way. For the day. I guess what I could do...
There is something I could... I don't know what his reaction would be, so this is a gamble. Can I cast the... Uh... All right, I want to cast the psionic blast in, like, the air. I don't okay. want to attack him with it. I just want to show it. Okay, where are you, okay, where are you attacking? Just in the air. Just uh, doing it, not not at anybody. I just want to do it. Okay. Roll the hit. I'm going to roll to hit the air. Let's go. Now on. No. Uh, now I wish I was attacking the fucking thing. All right. Well, good news is that you uh, you did hit the air. All right. So hopefully this thing has enough intelligence to back off. If not, well, we'll see. I guess that is my turn. Okay. The dragon needs both of you to make wisdom saving throws. I take it it didn't like what I said. Uh, okay. I am rolling like dog shit tonight. What the fuck? I don't like I don't that like much. That. I don't like that at all. I, th I feel like that's too much. Whatever that is. Uh, so that's one... My saving throw does not surpass that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten people out of the hundred in the stadium. Everyone begins to scream in fear. Oh, right. Sorry, Ayla. Yeah. Roll a wisdom saving throw. Oh, shit. I can do that. What's my modifier? Wisdom is... Ooh, that's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Oh, well. That's a 10. Yeah, you fail too. Okay. That's All of sick. you were frightened. So you guys can't move any closer to the dragon, and you are rolling all ability checks and attack rolls at disadvantage. While you can see it. Great. Can I just slit around next and just get it over with? <laughs> and before the bracelets don't work for suicide. Okay. It steps forward once. Both of you make dex saving throws. Yes! Oh, wait, no, that's not what it is. Fuck. Advantage on dex against effects that you can see. Wait, so does that count? So since you would be rolling disadvantage because of the frightened, then that means that you would... Um, oh, no, wait, it's the saving throw. So, uh, yeah, so... Wait, where's that? I don't Is even know what features? it's for. I just have it. Is it in your features? Uh... There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, danger sense. You. You're good, you're good. Yeah, you have uh, roll, roll advantage on dex saving throw. Bro, what's up? Uh, that is a... Uh, 11. 11? Okay. 
Um, well, nice with a nat 20, you absolutely do save. So, let me just get this fixed for you. Nice. Yo, I think that's the first 69 we've gotten since starting D&D. &D, like, I mean, that, I feel like that <laughs> campaign's over now. Like, it's, yeah. it's done. We're dead. They were all dead. We all just say nice oh. and then fade away. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, Milos. Yeah. You have saved against a lightning breath strike. Meaning you take six uh sorry, thirty-four lightning damage. Uh, that's a little, uh, yeah, um, I think that's all of my health, actually. Um, Tolius. Yeah, I, I, I didn't do anything. You take the me. full 69. Nice. At that point, nice. I would have rather taken the 69 damage, if I can be real. Well, Tolius showed up, and now he's gone. <laughs> so at I feel like that... At least he was there. So I take it that was a scripted story death. Well, As you guys know. feel yourselves burning alive from the inside out, Ayla, you can watch as they... Oh, I'm still looking away in fear. You're looking away? Okay. Cool. Fucking pussy, at least watch us You're die. the one that cast the spell that makes me scared! I didn't cast it. The dragon, dragon did. I thought he did. I thought you ca I thought that that's what you were casting up above at the air. No! Oh, okay. At this the point, I fucking cast. wish getting one hit on that would have been amazing. I didn't even get my javelin back. Removing one javelin. It feels like one second later, you wake up. And... The two of you are in a recovery bay of some kind. Woo. God. I got a question for sticks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're messaging oh. it to me, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um... So, with that, Ayla. Yes. Yes. Hello. Thora oh. gives off a rather loud laugh. And just, uh. <laughs> yes! I knew it! And then he snaps. And the bones disintegrate. Wow, he knew it. What a fucking conundrum he figured out. Dragon beats little people. <laughs> what was the int stat on his... Hold on, let me find the intelligence stat on his page. Hey, he may be higher level now. Or is the BVEG for the entire uh, campaign? God, I hope. Because I want to kill him. I want to thank Styx for making me have a seething hatred for my own character. <laughs> fuck, fuck, sorry. You know what? Technically, what an it's asshole. not your own character. <laughs> not anymore. I disowned him. Just like Aston. Uh, Aston's guaranteed fucking dead at this point. Absolutely dead. Oh, yeah. He was first on the hit list when he turned Oathbreaker. And... With that, Ayla. Yes. The next group comes out. 
And when I say comes out, I don't mean willingly. Oh, they oh were that's spooky. Do they, they have bracelets on? Forced out through the door. Do they have bracelets on? Make a perception check. All right. What's my perceivability? That's a plus four. Yo, I see all. That's 24 total. Do you have like those little mini binoculars that they have at old timey plays? No, I got like the fucking pinwheel x ray specs. <laughs> so, um, one of them does. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hmm. I'm going to pull the two of you over to the side and underneath the archer well, on the hmm. uh, right side. I don't have a bracelet, so I'm very nervous about doing anything about that because that'll just get me killed, too. And I would be fucking mad if you go to, to their aid. Yeah, That's that would also be kind of a bad look, actually. <laughs> Although, at the same time, I knew both of you had bracelets on. There was no real danger. Thank God. You just had to experience being burnt alive. That would still be a really bad look. <laughs> it would actually be a very bad look. I'll think about it, though. I'm sure they got it. I, I believe in these random people. Their back is against the wall. The, the fight or flight response is going to kick in. They're going to kick some ass. Is, it, uh, is one of them a pink tiefling? Yeah, is one of them a pink teeth one? <laughs> no. I'll save her. She's cute. No, let her die. She's a racist. Yeah, but she's cute. Are you going to stay and watch? Um, I think I'll, I'll go collect these two. Okay. I don't know where they, where are they at. Is there like a baggage collection where their corpses just kind of roll out and then they wake up later? Uh, you can definitely go find them. All right, let's go find them. Okay. Although I guess with a nat 20 at perception, I guess even if I'm in the other fucking room, I still see what's going on. And so watch. Gentlemen. Hi. Hello. The bracelets were a lie. You're dead. Make new characters. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we're in the fae. <laughs> Oh, uh, how much of a dick move would that be? Fucking hate it. <laughs> I got all invested. I know these characters could die, but damn, I kind of expect they lasted a little bit longer than this. Gentlemen. Yeah. Yes. Roll D100s for those oh, of you who did compete. Oh. oh. All right. I'm rolling it just for the fun of it. Oh, how could. What yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I bet you two's really good. <laughs> it's the opposite. I'm going to make you re-roll, bud, because a two on all charts is nothing at all. I kind of like that, actually. Unless mm -hmm. unless you're talking rewards. I'm because I'm sure. assuming that... Is this yes, rewards this is. or ailment? No, this is for rewards. <laughs> oh, thank you. I thought, I thought we were rolling for, like, this rolling is the side effects. Rolling a disease table. Because <laughs> I thought this was, like, oh, side effects from being killed and revived. <laughs> Uh, okay. Side effect, your dick is just like an inch shorter. Alright, 44. <laughs> the fuck are you rolling for, Certain? Just for fun. Doing it for fun. Oh. You did better than both of us. I was kind of hoping I hit a 69, because I'd just be legendary. I feel like if you get like a 69, you should be awarded like a Dragon Ball or something. <laughs> Just one of its balls? Gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, um, you want column A or column B? Don't worry about that. Just column A or column B? Column B, because I'm a Some bad boy. Column A. Try all of column B. Look at Heavy trying to power game by remembering things. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I'm column B. Okay. Bro? I said B. You both want B? Yeah. 
Okay. Fuck off with that. Roll a d100. Uh. Well, both of you get exactly what Turian wanted. Nothing. A dragon ball? A potion of healing. Oh. Yay! And I should have taken call on me. Oh, you well. should have. I committed to it. I can't change it. Because you could have made somewhere around 350 gold pieces. Fucking! So this potion of healing is worth that much? Um, no. You chose the one that was worth less. So. Okay, well, I'll stick with it, because I did the thing. Alright, I've added a potion of healing to my inventory. Good. Just, just a regular potion yeah, of healing, guys. Yeah, I was actually gonna do that. Yeah, no, just a regular one. Good. How much health do I have now that I'm revived? Uh, all. You guys should have all your health back. Woo! I never lost any, truly, because I died in one attack. You just, yeah, you lost all of it all at once. Yeah. Yeah. Arian. Hi. Hi. Congratulations. Because of your efforts and defeating the first fight, you have gained additional money on top of the reward for fighting. However, since you have decided that you are going to puss out and take a bracelet, um, Excuse me. I'm going to have to take some of that money back. Oh, no. <laughs> exactly half. So here is your 60 gold coins. That's not too bad, then. Hey, why does Heavy get a fucking potion, by the way? What the hell did he do? You had a potion as well. <laughs> yeah, but why did Heavy get a potion? I tried to exist in the same place because as he, he showed up. <laughs> he tried to help you with the dragon. Yeah. I'm gonna just keep throwing myself into people's matches. <laughs> you guys have already signed up as a team. Uh, uh. So, next next time he does that, can I just force him out of the arena? Fuck you. I mean, if you want to spend your time doing that, you can try. Well, yes, as a... Well, <laughs> I, am, I am a little... I'm a little concerned by Sora's ominous words. After we... Well, actually, I don't know if I heard his ominous words. I don't think I did. I was busy uh, being dead The only one that would have is Ayla. What, did I hear him? Yeah. Yes. There. When he laughed, when he laughed maniacally and said, "I knew it." Oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah. So, uh, that's a little creepy. Obnoxious. Um, you know, I'm. I don't think the champion likes us. Well, me specifically. You did kill both his dogs and his bird. Well, to be fair, don't put your dogs and bird in a death arena. That's fair. He should have at least like got him like doggy bracelets. I mean, I mean, it's like, come on. Look, you didn't kill his last pet though. That's like a fucking Rottweiler or something. Yeah. Where did he even get control of something like that? Well, given that uh, dragons have been dead for a very long time, I'm going to guess necromancy, specifically. Wow. Well, He's just a powerful necromancer. I get the feeling that most people in their third matches don't go up against that. I think he has it out for me. But I won't let that deter me. I'm going to rise through the ranks, and I'm going to take him down. I believe in you. The woman who has been walking you around comes up to you. Do 
gentlemen. Yes. Hello. The Grand Champion would like to invite you in for a meal at his table. Hmm. Well, that's an offer I can't refuse. If he add, a char- add, add a character, probably very likely I can't refuse. I know Ayla didn't participate, but is she invited? Yeah, she is part of our team. She did. Uh, the lady did say gentlemen. If your team member would like to come, then she may. Sure, why not? I'll tag along. She is. I'll, I'll be like your manager. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just go, go, go ahead and stop that right there. <laughs> no. All right. That just right, sounds I... like you're going to sit in the fucking stands and collect our money. No, 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 no. What, what are you going to do as manager? Uh, Make sure that we don't get into a fucking Spider-Man 1 situation where the event organizer fucks you on your money. And then your uncle gets shot. I don't think that Matt. I don't think you would have any say in that. Like... Well, it's like you need a manager to draw up a contract. Like, Sora is, like, history's greatest villain right now, and I'm pretty sure he controls this town. Like, I'm getting, like, we're getting invited to dinner by the villain. I'm fucking terrified. Even but before he's an anti-hero? Maybe, like, maybe he's not completely Oathbreaker. He's just a, he's just like a vigilante that plays by his own rules. You never know? Yeah. Or he's a villain. Or he's a villain. He might be a villain. It's a very real possibility that we need to uh, stay on top of. Well, let's go to dinner. Yeah, let's go rub-a-dub-dub. Time for some grub. Okay. Well, gentlemen. Ooh, excuse me. Sorry. Um, as each of you follow this lady, uh, sorry, let me. I. I was complaining about getting half my money because I had the bracelet on. But on the other hand, I would have had no money because I'd be fucking dead. Yeah. 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 So I guess I got to put things into perspective sometimes. Nothing like a... It's like a little bit of an issue. <laughs> like this is not how I want to introduce Heifer into, the, into D&D. I did have another backup character, but I believe Stick specifically said Minotaurs don't exist. So, that's out the window. Did I? Pretty sure Minotaurs were on your list. Yeah, because I, I asked about Minotaurs, and you said no, I, not, a, no not as player characters, they do not exist. I don't know what the stance on Furbolg was. If there are no Furbolgs, I would be doubly fucked. God, Minotaur Barbarian would be so good. Holy fuck. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to align this to grid. It, That's it, the worst fucking thing, isn't it? Yeah, it didn't align to grid properly the first time, and I noticed it just a second ago, so it's pissed me off. I think that's it. This is so fucking obnoxious. Let me move Ayla around on the map just to make sure first. Yes, we're good. Okay. Let's 
So there's that. Ayla. Milos. Didn't your square Milos? <laughs> you will you will succumb to this box. You will work in this box. Gentlemen. What is this Amazon? Oh god. It's a dungeon. Oh, Zoom out on the map, make sure I'm not missing anything. Course, I don't I don't here. trust Zoom back I don't trust any tavern that has fog of war. <laughs> just realistic. That's a good uh, lesson for life. It's just weed smoke, it's fine. Yeah. Pfeiffer? Pfeiffer? <laughs> Like I feel like I just want to introduce Hyper so he'll eventually become an NPC. That's all I want. Give me things and I will make it that. Hey! Because I'll never get to play as the motherfucker. I just want to see him. Welcome. I can't move. Yeah, that's because I put it on the wrong layer. There you go. Hey. I'm still trapped. In this square. I am trapped. Uh, there. Okay. There. You should be on the right layer now. Hello there. Hello. Gotta say, the three of you are uh interesting group. So are you. I am a group of one, I guess. So, he does Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no I, I was just gonna say out of character, he doesn't talk about what happened to his group. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably for the best, actually. People. Oh, well. I love you, baby girl, but you cannot let right, down offer on us the to keyboard. take a seat? No, he hasn't. Oh, sorry. I thought I, I heard. will stand then. Uh, what did he say? I said, I will stand then. No, what did he say? He said, You're a very interesting group. You guys have responded. But yeah, I haven't said anything else yet. No. All right. He stands up. Please. Come sit. I'm sure you're hungry after reanimating. Thank you. Oh, Maple, you sack of shit! Get off the keyboard! Okay, I'm here. Does Tolia see any Alcoholic beverages. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you want to start assuming things are alcoholic beverages. Does he see anything that is clearly an alcoholic beverage? Are there any white dragons? There is a <laughs> white milky substance on the table, yes. Uh, oh, no. Is it on the top or the bottom of the table? Well, it's either a white oh. dragon or an Aston special. We'll see. Oh, <laughs> that, no. That's why I asked. Is it on the top or bottom of the table? It's on the top. <laughs> <laughs> so... He sits down. Anything in particular that you would like? Uh, poison. Oh. Excuse I'm, me. I'm scared. I thought, I thought she was asking for poison. Yeah, I said, <laughs> not poison. Oh, I didn't hear the not, so I was just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> no, I didn't either. I thought you were asking for poison as well. Well, I guess that would, like, uh, eliminate the confusion, at least. 
But they're, you're not sneak poisoning me if you just say, hey, can I have poison and you bring it to me? <laughs> then I just can know it's poison already. I have your poison now. Ha ha. Can't you know, poison me if I have it. You know, there's this drink that I've heard about that I would love to try. I don't know if, I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's got... Uh, you, you make it with some vodka and some milk. Oh. You've heard of the popular white dragon. Oh, yeah. I, I think that's what it was called. I'm interested in that. Oh. Lucky you. It's a house special. All right. A lady is going to. Uh, shit, if I can find the token, where'd it go? Nope, 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 nope. That's not the right tokens. Right now it's giving me the vibes of when they open the door and Darth Vader's sitting at the dinner table. <laughs> I shoot I shoot Sora with a crossbow bolt out of character. He just uh, He yeah. fucking def- he blocks it with his hand because he's yeah. a goddamn badass. Thank God he's not or no, it just disintegrates in it as it is glove. He uses the force to pull your crossbow away. I, I would I would leave. <laughs> I would be like, alright, we're fucking done. Like that that's that's enough of the arena. Why do I not have this character's token? What the fuck? Oh, uh, he can't find Tabitha. <laughs> Alright. There it is. Oh, did he walk off? Who? Oh, I thought you said you said hold on. Uh, yeah, but not like leaving my chair. Hold on. Oh my god, it's Micah! Dragon. Oh, thank you. Oh no, that's Tone. I mixed up my unit characters, excuse me. Oh god. I'm just glad Falbrin's not a part of this right now. Yeah, we, but there's still a lot to see. There's a lot of Fog of War heavy. You don't know what Yeah, there's a lot of Fog of War. Are we in Waterdeep? I can't wait for Wafa to kill me. That's how I want to go out. Waffa was the one that was spared. All right, I'd like to drink the white Russian. I mean, white white dragon. <laughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. Wow, great, great offense right there. Wait, what, the, what the fuck is a Russian? What are you Russian for? It's just a drink. <laughs> Calm down. Now. <clears throat> I would like. I want... Oh, sorry. No, go ahead, please. I I did. Oh, uh... Okay. May I have some mead? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank. I just some mead for me as well, please. It's just jumped the fucking mead. He's hopped over the bar. No. On the business. Mm. 
Do you two understand why it is that I sick? I had you fight that um skeleton. Well, I assumed it's because you hate me. I was just in it to help try to protect my friend, but clearly that didn't work out. It was noble enough. However, it seemed as if, as if the uh, things that I was uh, pitting against you were far too easy for you, and I wanted to make sure that we... Stamp out any possibilities. Well, I was definitely stamped out. I have to agree. Demigods do not compete in my arena. Uh, I'll, I'll take your word for that. Is that a common problem? Demigods competing in the arena? Not anymore. Well, I'm happy you solved that problem. Yes. As you should be, the monsters deserve nothing more than genocide. Already, Out of believing character. they are above those whose blood runs through their veins. I mean, what do you mean by monsters? What kind of monsters are you got competing? Hmm. I'm gonna be honest. I'm I'm kind of new to these parts. I don't. I don't think I quite get what you mean. It's just a personal bit. Don't worry. Just a small little bout. I wanted to make sure that you weren't of godly blood. I mean, I'll be honest, with this physique, I don't blame you for thinking so. I don't know about yes. my true blood. Well, obviously, it's not strong enough. So. <clears throat> the three of you, especially you. Um, what was it? M Milosh, correct? That's it. Perfect. Seem to be favorites. New favorites and while it's perfectly acceptable it's perfectly fine for you to move up in rank and continue getting better prizes going throughout my coliseum i am not going to allow you to win if you happen to make your way up to finally fighting me. Well, I didn't expect you to throw the match or anything, but... <laughs> yes. So, here's how this will work. You continue to fight in my arena. And as I said before, your rewards will become greater and greater. However, I I, um, 
how do I put this? I need more drama. I mean, you, you want me to play up the crowd and the crowd's been going wild. Right. You played them out very well after you've slaughtered a beast. And right when you walk through the door. But style in battle is quite another thing compared to style before and after a defeat. I know that your sweet Ayla over there didn't see it, but the crowd was quite upset that the two of you couldn't take a blast of lightning coursing through your veins. Oh, is that what that smell was? I mean... I don't blame you. It is uh, quite powerful. And that was the point. But... The people have expected much from you over the last couple of days. When you're here in the arena, you need to take on personas. What, like, put on a costume, a mask, and... We provide you the costume already. Oh. The armor which we give you? I just assume, like, you're putting on a whole new persona, you know, like, a little a cape. Right, you absolutely can. Capes are a bad idea. As soon as you walk through that gate, I want you to take on a persona of a sort. Become persona. someone... Yes. Become someone entertaining. Make them believe that you want nothing more than to bring them joy and entertainment. And as I said, the money will flow. Suppose I could give it my best shot, but I'm definitely no bard. That's perfectly fine. You don't have to be. Bards are obnoxious, horny bastards. Or out of character, oh, you I'm you speak like you yeah, <laughs> you I speak think. like you know one. <laughs> well, you know. Uh, I definitely put that under consideration. Uh, persona, costume. Think of it as a professional gig. You are here for a professional meeting. I will continue to provide the bracelets to you for as long as you continue to entertain the crowd. I'm putting I'm putting some numbers and sentences together in my head and I'm I'm, I'm not liking what what I'm, I'm adding up to. But you don't want us challenging the championship. Listen. Do you plan on living here in town forever? No. He's yet to be seen. If you don't plan on staying here and living your life here, why would you want to be the champion? The champion just up and run away from town. 
who knows when he may come back. Or yeah. she. It's how you protect your title. I just kind of figured, you know, win the championship, you know, get, you know, get, get the funds that I need. And, you know, I mean, you know, it's a competition. It is a competition. And I'm the one who's running it. Well, so far, all of you've done is fight monsters, beasts, and that idiotic sphinx. Things will get harder from here. And, in fact, you may end up slaughtering people here. In the name of money and entertainment. Something I need you to remember is those who don't pick bracelets have a death of their own that they wish. Whether that be upon you or themselves. And so if you do happen to kill someone in this arena, don't feel guilty. Just as no one will feel guilty for you if you die. Believe me, I play for keeps. Very well. <clears throat> According to my resources, I believe it's getting quite late, and the three of you normally run off to some type of story time. I yeah, mean, we when, go to story time. When you put it like that, it's very... You know, I, I'd like to think of it, I'd like to see it as, like, evening entertainment. An nice. evening show. Yeah. Very well. You know, the further adventures of Big and Friends? Have you seen it? Never missed an episode. <laughs> oh, man. He just got his... Uh, spoilers. He just got his magic carpet. It was insane. That's... Nice, I guess. I don't know what you're talking about. You, t you gotta come. You gotta come, man. All right, it's all right. Great. Okay, so you gotta watch episode uh, 37. It's the beach episode. Very good. <laughs> well, <clears throat> that speedo not... really shows you why they call him big. Oh, you bet. <laughs> Even Aston's blushing. Well, I have a business to run, so unfortunately I cannot go. However, you can each enjoy it yourselves, and I'm sure I will see you again. And, you know, I... I kind of feel bad. So, I mean, I'm sorry about your dogs, you know. What? I, you, know, you know, the dogs before, you know. It, you um, know, never mind. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay, well, just so you know, um, you're right, that wasn't your fault. Thank you for the apology. However, the collars were not put on them properly. Oh. It's been five years since the accident. It wasn't your fault. You gotta let him go. Oh. Just because you slaughtered them. 
That doesn't mean that it's completely your fault. You didn't know that they were supposed to have collars, just like you have bracelets. Uh, I love how it's not completely your fault. Implying that it's still a little bit your fault. Well, you know. How it goes in the death arena. I do. Which is why I'm not blaming you completely for it. Because I just kind of assumed, you know, the, the, big, the big scary skeleton dragon was sort of like the, the effect of that cause. But it's good to know that there's no hard feelings. No, you're all good. That's why you're sitting in here now. You know, you know this is really pleasant. I, I just kind of assumed that you were, that you were going to like be terrifying and like... Uh, like intimidating us, but no, yeah, actually, pretty decent guy. I mean, I can be terrifying and intimidating if that's what you prefer. If that's what would get you to do what you need to do in my arena. Out of character, I've seen his charisma score. Now he can't intimidate me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it doesn't have to be him that intimidates you. No. And, and I just have one more question. Mm hmm. Is it just the one set of ears, or do you have, like. Never mind. You don't have to answer that. I have ears all over the place. <laughs> oh, God. Yep, that's what I meant. Well, I suppose we shouldn't be keeping you. Away from your duties for too long. No, you shouldn't. And if that is your way of saying that you are leaving, then thank you for coming to dinner and enjoying a meal with me. Out of character, I think all I've had is actually just... Same. I want to know why that bread says Alf. <laughs> It's Alf's bread. Uh, I I push my chair in like a gentleman. Same. Yeah. If you didn't eat while you guys have been sitting there talking, then that's kind of an on you kind of thing. Oh, okay. Say, so, pretty sure you should have been doing that while they were talking, or you guys were all talking. Well, fine then. Yes, I ate. I ate part sure, of yeah, the bread. Yeah, I ate I ate elf. <laughs> oh shit, wait. Is is okay, is elf like Jesus in this universe? See, no. Now, now well, it's like like the bread, like at church, like communion. Ayla, now your name is Alf. <laughs> Alf, I'm born again. So <laughs> is this Sora's revenge for Alf eating all those cats? <laughs> hmm. Out of character. I still think Sora wants to murder me, but that's fine. Okay. Gentlemen. Hi. Sorry. Oh, not that. Oh. We need to zoom out a whole fucking lot. So, am I correct in assuming that the three of you are going to go ahead and head down for story time? Yeah, you know, the further adventures of Big and Friends, and that's the exact name of the story. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, like, you know, relent on this. No, it should be uh, Big and Chusk and Friend. All right. Hey. <laughs> the problem is, I don't have, I don't have the overlay set for our alternate timeline cells, so. Sucks. Sucks to suck. Just start making them. Vanamalda. Vanamalda alternate timeline. Normal. Alright. I, I, I need. 
where we're all good. Um, <clears throat> so you guys have already eaten, but do you want to grab any snacks for the at the time? S'mores. Yeah, of course. There's s'mores down there. Yes. That's all. That's all. He- oh. Uh, okay. I would. I would like some cotton candy. <laughs> okay. Uh, the kid will sell you some cotton candy for... Uh, he's seen you down here enough, so copper. Oh, shit, I gotta, I gotta bring Milos back. Characters. Milos. Remove one copper. Oh, shit. What the fuck? I didn't realize I had these. Well, I have spilt. Well, that entire uh, part of the continent is just fucking dead. Atomic bombed. Oh my god. No, no Ayla, no! No, not Atolius. No! No, it's fine. It's in the past. No, the fallout. Atolius is going to never have kids. They're... Well, I mean, that was already... They're in the trees. You shut your mouth, by the by. What? I like to. I like to hide. <laughs> I am the Lorax, and I speak for the trees. And for some reason, they're speaking fucking Vietnamese. Oh God! You see, you see, <laughs> you see, Big would totally be able to have goblin kids, but he's too in love with money to really focus on a relationship. Tax deductions. He okay, <laughs> Big. Big is like fucking Bender. From that episode of Futurama where he adopts, like, 12 kids just to get the fucking check for, like, child support. All right, it's canon. He did it. <laughs> he absolutely would do that. I just, oh. I just lo- love booting up big. 200 platinum, 2,143 gold. Fuck yeah. Fast. You'll go to the- Wait, you're going to the bathroom real fast is what he said? Uh... I assume, and I guess maybe not. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and take a bathroom break real quick. Alrighty! I don't even have the right thing for the waiting screen. It's still Isle of Bytha. I got things G-G. I need to do. GG. GG. <laughs> GG. Let's just go to a blank page. No, go back to normal. Alright, we are All right, I'm back.
All right, ladies, you ready? Yeah. That's one boy. Who? Is it just you, certain? I guess then. I guess, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. I don't trust. I don't trust uh, Sora though. Oh no! Yeah. I, the, I feel like the, I, the comment he made about you'll keep getting bracelets as long as you're entertaining, and yeah. then you guys didn't see it because you died. But uh, the people after you were being forced into the arena, and they did not have bracelets on. So what what worries me is when he was talking about really cryptic stuff about demigods and like monsters. And it's the, the bloodlines, and I don't know. I I kind of feel like he kind of like suspects something of us, and I I I don't know. What worries me the most is the fact that he pretty obviously, as soon as you are no longer providing entertainment to the crowd, will just um, throw you in the arena with no bracelet and kill you. I don't know why you would think that's what he's implying. I feel like I lied because, okay, you said clearly the people that didn't have bracelets uh, that I got that I saw getting forced into the arena, like, very clearly didn't want to be there, right? And then, as he's in the room talking to us, he says, you'll keep getting bracelets as long as you continue to be entertaining to the crowd. So that just sets off the red flag for me of, oh, as soon as we're not entertaining, he will force us into the arena without our bracelet. I don't know. I just, I kind of feel like... Not on the keyboard. I don't know. I'm, I keep Wait, focusing on the demigod thing. It just seems like a very... It just seems like a very specific thing for him to bring up, and it wouldn't be brought up unless it was important. Well. All I know is, Sora's gonna die. Does he though? He wants to kill me. It's only fair. Does he though? Yeah. You'd think he would have got that out of his system by now. Oh, look. That was a classic villain talk at dinner time there. Like, he. He's 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 just trying to pigeonhole us and like the be like the fucking arena clowns. No, fuck that. I'm back. We are going to win. We're going to become the champions. And, and we're going to kill leave. Sora. Well, I would assume we'd have to kill Sora to become. You don't a belong here. Leave. Your Discord. Who dis? It's bacon. Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Holy shit. But he had his chance. <laughs> yeah, but the fact that he actually listened to you when you told him to get out, that's crazy. Heavy no. <laughs> Heavy, yes. What's happening? Oh my gosh. Hello? Hello? Hi. Okay, somebody's listening. Okay, cool. But the worst part about, uh, you know, theorizing about Sora is the man with all the answers is sitting right there, but we can't just ask him. We gotta figure it out. <laughs> Besides, S Sora's full of shit because he's talking about, oh, champions, you know, what can't be a champion and then leave as if that's not a thing in Pokemon. Oblivion, you know, 
Also, he's talking about gods a lot for a fucking Oathbreaker. I thought we were just talking about the demigod talk. It's like, I don't... He, he, he seemed worried that we were demigods. I feel like that's worth thinking about. You know, for one, what the fuck did we do to make us seem like demigods? I I truly think he has more suspicions than he lets on. And he is not done testing us. Guess you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> that's that's not okay. Also this Why is, is that not What what's up? Nothing, just there's some shit posting going on in the Isle of Life in chat right now. Fuck. He's just mad because I still technically count as a minority. <laughs> and like bisexual well, is you're like from the, Florida. Bisexual is the most most technical minority you can possibly get because I can still pass as a straight guy. I just choose not to. Oh, so it is a choice. I mean, it's a choice in how you present yourself. <laughs> and I choose to be a minority. Damn. I get I get a little blue hat and it tells uh it tells people to be patient with me. <laughs> That's an oddly specific gift to have on deck heavy. <laughs> I gotta be real with you. <laughs> the, the funny thing is, well, no, I just searched Oklahoma and that was like literally the first one. God, but there's OU shit in the top ten. Irma, you slut. Instead of the handlebar, that's the hand job. <laughs> that's Sora! That's Sora! <laughs> Sora, after her being released from jail. One year older. That shit forgot about that one, huh? Wait, 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 where's, where's, the, where's the one? Where's the one thing you made that I'm so happy you made? Uh, <laughs> where's that picture? I demand it right now. Uh, I was, I'm actually in the correct folder for it, too, which is funny. There it is. I don't have the fucking, I used to keep, I had the template there saved. There it is, yes! I had the template saved some, at some point, but I don't know what I did.
I love this gift. I'm not clicking the live leak. Wait, Don't no, I think I've it. seen this one. I think I've seen this one. This one's like the meme, right? Yeah, 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 I've seen that one before. Imagine if just once it wasn't. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I feel like that's basically Tolius's reaction if he had the ability to leave in that last battle. Far behind, it looks like, on the freaking chat. What the fuck is happening here? Ooh. No, I don't have my Steam profile saved in this folder. I don't know what I did with it. What the fuck is going on? I just thought I should see. I, 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 I allowed the shit post to start because I posted the one that's like shit posts, more shit posts, all of the fucking shit posts. So, so I, I can. No. Okay. <laughs> I love how neither of them, picture. neither of them could do D and D tonight, but for some reason they're in the chat. <laughs> Leading sounds that indicate a critical lack. That's me playing D and D at any moment. Also, you make a good point. So, boys, hi. Hello. Oh God, is that the whole movie? It is. is the... Yeah, I know that. One. That's the I... whole last movie. I enjoyed making that. Or wait, no, that's your email. That's not the actual. No, that's the no. Yeah, that's not the email. Oh, oh that's a, that's a relic. I can't link that one. Oh man, I cannot link that one. This is the this is my emote version that I made myself. I can't link this one though. <laughs> you know, there's an NSFW channel right oh yeah but right now we're just shit posting it's not no. it's not in it, it, yeah she's wearing clothes no i know that's why i was you said you can't post this one you can't post this one. Oh like, no that's not the one that's not the one i was talking about i will not be posting the one i was talking about i absolutely cannot there we go i don't need to watch shrek for a while now <laughs> Starting your pictures are perfect. <laughs> okay. Alright, I think I'm ready to stop shooting now. Oh, wait, I have one last one. I'm gonna even add everyone on this one because it's very important. <laughs> <laughs> he got it in one. <laughs> Wait, why is that one me? <laughs> You need to get down, mister. I, I, I would actually like to continue. The
Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <what> even <laughs> oh, I can't even see that emoji. Uh, click on it. Click on the name. Emoji empty, no thoughts. Fuck off! <laughs> I was proud it's... of that one. <laughs> That's really good. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> it's the best gif ever made, Heavy. It's got everything you could possibly want. <laughs> Except the last half the gif. No, it's got fucking boobs and it's got violence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's such a good combo apple holy shit <laughs> this this part of the recording is gonna make no fucking sense stop <laughs> <laughs> the best part is when it like they actually sync up. <laughs> hey, bud. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait! This uh, this one's Aston. I found Aston, everyone. <laughs> Excuse you, you little motherfucker! You did not just bite me like that. You absolutely did not just bite me like that. Go. Uh, seen that face from Bear. <laughs> okay, wait, no. This one is Aston. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's probably more Kojo, but whatever. Oh, fuck you. Oh, I like that one. I like that one. Oh, heavy. Why does that one make you so upset? It's cool. It hurts my eye. Get better eyes. Uh, I am... You're insane! Of course I'm insane! The fuck? What now? What are you doing? Get out! How'd you even get that out, you piece of shit? Fuck you. Wait, 
Get out of there. Get out of there. Archimedes. No. This part of the recording is going to be weird. Oh, cut it out. Post production. Just awkwardly quiet. Yeah, let's cut it out. We have awkwardly quiet every time we have a bathroom break. It's no. Okay, well. You don't edit the bathroom breaks out? I don't have time to edit the fucking sessions right now. You get long form, you get, you get to be happy about it. You do have time, but though, because class is over. The fuck was that? That was someone oh, leaving and rejoining. Sorry, Turian. <laughs> Turian, they're off. Oh. Oh, that's how, how comic book artists draw women. Yeah, but it's fair, but why? <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna post this one because I like this one a lot. Oh no. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, and then there's this one. This one's really good too. Oh lord. This one, Double O Seven made. I can't take fucking credit for this one, but Double O Seven made that one, and it's really good. Mm. <laughs> Uh, there's this one I made, too. That's Frosty and his dad, and God, does Frosty hate that I have that image. Holy shit. You should post it. What? You should post it in, uh, fucking Starfleet. Oh, yeah, I will. I'm just gonna remind him. At Frosty. Remember this one? <laughs> oh, this one! <laughs> this one's really good! <laughs> no. So yeah, when are we doing campaigning? Here's how Bernie can still win.
You better not bite me, you little shit. Oh, wait, I have a really good one on my phone, I think. I gotta get it. on the one, but this one's also getting posted. We all good? Yeah, and good. And I'm ready to see what Big's up to. Okay. Starting. Yes. Yeah, I'm here. All right. Lady Agatha. Transports you back in time again. And last we left off, you guys were flying on a carpet. Um, it, you guys didn't tell me where you were going. Uh... Where did we? We are heading up toward Aura. I have no idea. You it feels like it's been months since we played Vanamalda. You guys were going to um, fly north because I believe you were planning on going to Homa. That sounds oh, right. Oh, yes, we were. We were going towards the uh, coastline. Yeah, that area up there. So. Here we go. Lady Agatha appears in front of each of you. Ah, welcome back, my children. She looks over all of you, smiling. It 
it's good to see you too, Lady Agatha. Hello. I get the feeling that was actually addressed towards the audience and not us. Not the ghost. We can say that all of the crowd has said something of the sort. <laughs> okay, they it's like when this it's like when the substitute teacher comes in and they make everybody say good morning. Good morning. No, no, no. We can do better than that. Good morning. It's tomorrow. Fucking asshole. <laughs> well, you all failed if that was the case. So, <clears throat> the powder is thrown across on the three of you here. As of the journey so far, the three of you have made your ways out to the westward banks on your way to Bloodstone. You fought a mighty warrior, a rider by the name of War. And once inside, you met a small crew who helped you take down the red dragon that was put in charge of this city. You gained word that you needed to head north towards Homa, and instead of trying to find a ride, you created one of your own by selling off parts of the dragon and purchasing yourselves a flying carpet. You're now flying in the direction of Homer. And you guys open your eyes to find yourselves on the flying carpet A in midair. Whole new world. Technically. Uh, Big is absolutely uh, taking his role as Captain Space Pirate seriously. I'm down. Good. Okay. I'd like you know I I'd like to keep an eye out for any uh, dangers on the horizon though you know can't be too careful flying your carpet. I am not. Yeah, you got insurance on this thing. Yeah, insurance is a scam. Insurance is only worthwhile if you're the one insuring people. So just insure yourself. Doesn't work. Well, look, you have a lot to learn, lizard boy. Stick with me. I'll show you how to make some money. I just want to punch people, probably. Well, you're the guy we bring in when they don't pay up. Hell yeah. I'll use my fucking stand and break their legs. They won't be standing when I'm done with them. And when it's time for some subterfuge, I can... Well, I, you know, I suppose. I guess it doesn't hurt to have another sneaky, sneaky guy around. Never good. This flying carpet stuff's pretty awesome. I don't know why no one else has thought about this. Yeah. You'd think everybody would have one of these. Well, I guess not everybody can afford it. You just gotta kill one dragon. Just one dragon. It is only one. 
if I knew how much this was worth, that's all I'd be doing. I say we just kill a few more dragons, happily retire, the end. Uh, we could probably kill like one more dragon and happily retire. Honestly, we probably don't even need to kill any more dragons to happily retire. Oh, wait, no, I do. I don't have much gold. You're also in debt. I do only have... Oh, yeah, because I got my sick-ass cape, so I spent all my gold. That's right. You have negative money. No, I kept some just so I could spend if we need to. Yeah, but if you, if you count in the debt, you have negative money. Well, yeah. I had a sick ass cape though. Man, I hope there's a dragon up in this town. <laughs> I could use a payday. So the reason you guys are heading that way, if you remember, is because you heard word of tales of devastation. Yes, we were told by a pixie dragon. No, no, that I think that was prior to meeting the pixie. No, you're right. Okay. The dragon told you of the people there becoming sick and dying. Some doctors were first forced into quarantine. Uh, sorry, forced to quarantine <laughs> off a plague that seemed to rot and decay them before your eyes. The uh, refugees, that is. It seems the disease is rotting away both the swamps and the people alike. Alrighty then. You know, this is sort of giving me some end times vibes. What was your, what was your first clue? Look, I'm just saying, I look, I love money, but I worry that if it's truly the end of the world, yeah, money's not going to be worth very much. So, oh, you think? I, I don't really like your attitude. I'm the breadwinner here, bitch. Don't much care if you make the most money. Not my goal. You're on my carpet, motherfucker. Ah, uh, yes. Of course, that is true. You can get up at any time you want. I thought so. Anyway. All right, I can do that. Actually, I don't. No, do it. Go. On. Go ahead. Yeah, do it. Do it. I don't know how high up Do it. Are. Yeah, you'll find out. Do it. Uh, no, Count no. how many seconds it takes. See, that's, a, that's a question for the dumb DM. No, no. Just count how many seconds it takes before you hit the ground. Uh, bro, how... If we had to quantify the amount of time it would take for me to hit the ground, uh, how, how long do you think that would take? Hold on, I don't remember gravity and how it works. <laughs> I mean, aren't I the one piloting this thing? I could just raise it and lower it at will, can't I? Yeah. Hmm. Um. So, according to the math and science, five seconds. Five seconds? Oh, I could do that. That's 400 feet, bud. That's a, yeah, that's yeah. a long way, dude. That's fine. I can uh, do that. He's, 
I could do that too. I'm not. I'm literally not even joking. Actually. Yeah, same here. I got a sick ass cape. Okay, and also, I... you, got, you got a parachute. I have literal wings. That's true. Also, I know there's something I can do that like reduces fall damage. No, but for seriously, being a monk. Uh, y'all want me to jump off? I'll 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 say uh, survival odds. Who wants to bet? I'll put a gold that you survive. I have a question for the DM now. Is Six, it... how, how much damage do you normally take on like a 400 foot fall? I'd kill you. No, I'm looking for like a number specifically. Uh, uh, I, I just had a question of uh, are there any visible threats to my uh, life outside besides the ground? If I were to jump off. No. I'm no? gonna say no. Okay. Well, that's fine. So, uh, a, a gold then. Yeah, that you live. I, I bet you a gold that you live. Can uh, I go nah. yip yip and raise the carpet? <laughs> uh, I'm not I'm not paying out if it's uh you want it you're thinking I'll survive. Yeah, you're not paying out if you die either, asshole. Well, then you're just being an asshole. <laughs> How about we all just stay on the carpet? I don't know. I kind of want to see you jump off at this point. Oh, well, come on. I'm, I'm kind of invested. Ten gold if I survive. For me. That's. Do you know how, like, percentage-wise, how much of my money that is? Nope. A very large percentage for ten for ten gold. Fine, I do. What? Just to be clear, according to the five E rules, official rules, it's one d six bludgeoning damage every ten feet. Past a certain point, or I I think that's just every ten feet. Just okay, okay, okay. Or I think so, there's like a there's like a I don't, I don't know if it is actually just if, if you do ten foot drop you get hurt but so that's forty d six so let's see advanced dice roller d six no I don't want to do that fuck okay d Six, roll forty of them. Boom! You take a hundred and fifty-six damage, roughly. I could survive that. I guess that is true. We don't know for sure. You could yeah. potentially take 240 damage, at most. Hey, uh, other sneak thief. Yes? You know, I was also thinking, why don't we use this newfangled carpet to get work as messengers? It'd be so easy. You realize... Oh, I don't know why, what voice I'm doing there. You realize we're not going really any faster than we would on foot, right? Yeah, but it, we're just sitting on our asses. Well, I guess if and there we was We can't some, really get ambushed, either. I guess if there was some... Uh, terrain in the way, we would be able to surpass that more quickly. But... I mean, it's no more dangerous than being on the ground. And in the middle of a big dragon war. Come on. People will pay. I'm sure messengers would be fine. But perhaps that is not our goal for right now. It's either this or we rob the dying people. Which would you prefer? Uh, what? 
What was the question? We either do this, or we rob the dying people. We gotta make money somehow. That's if you want to rob. I mean, that's kind of my thing. I'm a thief. Well, just so you gentlemen know, it is going to be a two-week trip on carpet for you to get all the way up there. Yay. Assuming it wouldn't be that much faster on foot. We're unless literally we're like higher. Yeah. The, the, the thing that would slow us down is terrain and predetermined paths. Not taking. Yeah. No, so um, going on foot would actually be slower. Yeah, yeah that's what I figured. Although uh, we might be able to get like a, can a I, carriage there or something. But, can I yeah. see like travelers way, way down, like way down there and say, suckers? Let me see here. Um, can you yell for 400 feet? Again. Can I take that opportunity to have a bathroom break? Oh, the flying speed is 30 feet. Mm. Again, uh, and I am sure I would survive that fall. Oh, I would too. Even without the, the fancy cloak, I could survive that fall. If you took Very max easily, damage? In fact. Oh yeah, even if I took max damage. That's good. Me too. What about you, other sneak thief? It would, if I hurt, took max damage, it would still hurt. I would not be like in a good spot, but I would be alive. What was the question? Could you survive jumping off right now? No, I'm not going to jump off the No, we're carpet. not saying you have to. We're saying hypothetically, could you survive? Captain I don't know. Come on, come here. Wait, you, do you not know what your fucking legs do? Look at this guy. Know. This guy doesn't know the shatter point of his own legs. What that's because I'm good at my job. I don't intend to worry about that sort of thing. Actually, the, the fact that I have a lot less mass than you guys probably means I could fall farther. I mean, in real physics, yes, that is correct. Um, in D&D physics, I do not think... I don't know if that's the case or not. Sticks does a small creature... Get more leeway and fall damage. According to the official rules, no. Oh, that's uh, get Gygax on the phone. He's dead. Well, break out the fucking we break out the goddamn Ouija board. Yeah, I don't want to talk to a man who decides he's going to uh, once he becomes famous for his game uh, cheat on his wife and leave her. Woo! He was gonna do that anyway. So yeah, it would be ex-wife at that point. <laughs> so, so I want to be like a safe distance to where I probably won't get shot, but okay. also close enough to passing adventurers so I could say, <laughs> "Suckers." <laughs> well, a um, longbow can shoot you from four hundred at four hundred feet. Woo! How about four hundred one? Yeah, <laughs> they're not max or range. 600, I believe. 600? 600 think, right? is. What about right, six, six, okay, so 601. Yeah, 601. You're good. Suckers! <laughs> Fuck you. Well, very, very, very unlikely for them to hit you. Bet you wish you got a carpet! <laughs> let's, let's see. It's great let's... making fun of the people that are running away from home because it got destroyed for more. I'm a fucking a Big's an asshole. What do you want from him? <laughs> oh, yeah, I would survive that fall. I'd survive 600 feet. Oh, hey, I just got an idea. We could charge people to evacuate them from the town with the carpet. 
We'd make a killing. They'll pay anything. Oh, if I max roll at 600, I would not survive, though, actually. Um. Oof, I wouldn't survive that. The max roll is 360. I got a question for you guys. Yeah. Okay. So, like, we were recruited by this, by the dragon, right? To kill other dragons. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little confused. So, is that the good dragon, and we're trying to kill the bad dragons? I Actually, I don't like what I just said there for some reason. <laughs> Let me no, rephrase no. that. We want to keep the bad dragons around, actually. But we do need to get rid of the villainous dragons. So I guess there's conflict amongst the dragons themselves. That's interesting. I just sort of assumed all dragons were evil. That's a little bit racist, actually. I'm like... I don't think any species has endured as much racism as goblins. I'm gonna be honest. No one likes goblins. Goblins yeah, don't like goblins. It okay. Sounds a little bit like what aboutism? What about the goblins? Hey, what about a fucking barrel roll right about now? I mean, I'm we've both mentioned know. that we could survive this fall. 600 feet? I yeah. could. It's not impossible. Not guaranteed, but not impossible. I'd be able to. Oh, I actually could guarantee it, because I have and the are you gonna? <laughs> and are you going to do when you have two health and Big Keeps flying? And you're on the ground. I, I could I'm gonna. It. I'm going to enjoy life. I just have this sick-ass fucking cape that I would grow wings and fly myself. And I do not worry about such things as falling. Unless it's for a really long time, but just normal. Heights are no, you, you don't need to worry about falling at all. It's just that sudden stop at the end that gets you. Of course. So, uh... You're Hanada, right? That's your name? Hanoda. Apani. So you've been a thief for long? I am less of a thief, more of a saboteur. My family was once a lowly aristocrat. Uh, household. And through some subterfuge and, as I said, sabotage, we found ourselves in a much higher standing. And other families found themselves, well, no longer aristocrat. <laughs> you see, you might not know this, but I have a little history with sabotage myself. I sabotage people's bank accounts. Ah, uh, yes, the, um, that. Good, good job, you. Hey, it's, it's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. Of course. And, you know, I know I'm the greatest thief in the kingdom, but still, kind of weird that the dragon would pick me if that dragon is supposedly the good guy. Yeah. Good guy from his point of view. He obviously saw something in all of us. Uh, 
Perhaps ah. there is something further past the little further past the surface speaks to a being such as I mean, don't get me wrong. I might be the most skilled rogue ever. But, you know, I, I would have expected, like, a barbarian or two in this mix, but... I go figure. Sometimes you have to do what you can with what you're given. No big deal. Well, that's fine by me. Less people means a bigger cut for me. You know, it's kind of hard to use the like, encounter builder when you guys are in the sky, because apparently sky is not an environment. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, we're smart. We win. Yeah, we win. That's, that feels dangerous. I'll just use mountain. Woo! Oh, look, dragons. I swerved to avoid the mountains. Perfect. Perfect dragons. That's exactly what we were looking for. That's like the whole point of the campaign. Alhana. Oh, that's terrifying. And definitely not what we need to worry about cuz that's inside the mountain. I'm don't I'm not worried about inside the mountain. We coming round the mountain when we come. Tell you what, I'm gonna put forest because you guys are actually flying over a forest. I am kind of a concern though. I mean, like, if we end up being big heroes by ending the war and all that, I mean, I kind of don't want that to happen. As much as I'd love the paycheck. Why? Because people suddenly start looking at your history. Oh, yeah, but not for the reasons you think. You see, I owe a lot of child support. Oh, God. Children. I know, man. It's, it's tough. What about you, Chusk? You haven't said much. Uh, that sounds like a deep conversation, I'll be honest. I don't really care about money and stuff, I'm just gonna punch some dragons. Fair enough. Well, if you don't care about money, well... Well, I do need money. Like, that's like a requirement of being alive. Find me not to keep my longing. Hey, I might be a thief, but I'm a thief with honor. You ever heard of honor among thieves? I don't really consider it honorable to talk about basically exploiting the people who are being harmed by this war. Look, I know it, it seems kind of cutthroat and harsh at the surface level, but I'm telling you, it's the future. And the future's going to be all about making money and nothing else. I think I'm going to call it capitalism. Mark my words, it'll be the hottest new thing. Ration burn. Well, see, that's in intended to every couple of years. It does that, ah. like, on purpose. That makes more sense. Because then... The people with money can take advantage of everything crashing and becoming cheap to accrue more and more to the top 1% of people. Sounds like you're saying you want to eat the rich. Mm. And besides... No, also... I'm saying we invent capitalism and become the rich. And think of it like this. Uh, Mr. Honda. Anoda. If... Is it... Look, if we have the means to extract people safely from the town, we have a duty to offer that service. And we can't be expected to do that service for nothing. I mean, we have to eat, don't we? 
don't think your idea of required money for sustenance would meet the level of others. You don't need much money in order to survive. Look, your average goblin lives to survive. I'm not the average goblin. I crawled out of that primordial cave specifically to make a name for myself. To be something. Big doesn't settle. Bravo. God. The way I see it, it's a world where everyone is out for themselves. No one was there to help me. Why should I be there to help anyone else? Because it is your duty. <laughs> he said duty. Seems a bit one-sided. Wait, who the if you fuck said that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, who is saying such things? Yeah, who the fuck said that? Behind you guys on the carpet. Is a gentleman sitting crisscross applesauce? Thank God, that way I know he's not really a threat. Wait, there's a what sitting crisscross applesauce? A gentleman. Oh, okay. I thought you said a gentleman. dead woman, and I was like, excuse me? Uh, no. Worse. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's like I thought we dealt with that already. <laughs> it's an older gentleman. Uh, he looks to have a kind of. Um, Droopy mustache. A droopy? Droopy. Droop. Droopy. Okay. Droopy mustache. It's a uh, <clears throat> bald head. The mustache is silver. Master and Oshi? He is dressed in a red garb. Um, very, very. Uh, monk esque. And I'm very monk esque. Hey, you, you agree with me, right? Dog eat dog. Gotta look out for yourself. It's wise to ensure that you protect yourself. Thank you. This However, guy gets it. Oh. These are difficult times. And if we only look out for ourselves in these times, then who will there be to look out for in the end? Oh, fear not, old timer. I am looking out for the uh, little guy. For the right price. Now, I think we're all missing the big question here, the elephant in the sky. Who are you? How did you get here? Ah. I am but a visitor on your little sheet. His name is Atlas. <laughs> a sheet. Ah, you have given it a sex. <laughs> Very well. Woo. I mean, it's more, I mean, it's not a sex, it's a gender identity. It's a two different things. Yeah, you bigot. Well then, a gender identity. The three of you are spending a lot of time in the sky. Maybe you're becoming airheads. I mean, I'm kind of digging this. I Look, I, I'm a kind of a short guy. I don't get to be up here very often. He likes to be tall. To be fair, we've only been up here, what, uh, hours, maybe? I mean, it's not often I can 
actually be at a height that matches my ego. Hey, at least he's honest with himself. Well. Yeah. How much do you weigh, by the way? There's a weight capacity on this. Depends. On which form I decide to take. Oh, that's an ominous answer. Are you, you like a changeling or something? Hmm, no way. I know dragons can change into different forms. Are you a dragon? Yeah, very astute. Oh, boy. Okay, look. Hey, you know, how you doing? I'm, as you said, one of the good ones. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Can I do an insight check? How you check? doing? Sure, yeah, do an insight check. Cool, cool, cool. That, that, that's, that statement was suspicious, and I hope that... Wow, all right, fuck me. You believe him, 100%. Woo! Okay, uh, is his mustache you. gray, or is it silver? Silver. Fuck, is the metal or color dragons the bad one? The color is the bad one, right? We're currently... Under and metal the, is good. We're currently helping out a... I'm thinking, yeah, because we fought a... We killed a red dragon, so color, bad, metal, good. I trust this guy. I don't know if yeah. that's exactly how that works out, but... <laughs> Should I do an insight check on the guy? Your choice. I already fucked it up, so... 18. Me. Um. Let's see here. If I roll a 5, I beat you. Oh. Alright. Yes, you believe him. So, uh, how can we help you, good dragon? Uh, I'm just enjoying a bit of time before I have to work again. Hey, so you say your weight depends on the form you take, right? Right. It's been a while since I've been to goblin school, but it isn't according to the laws of conservation of energy. And mass, it's a, how does that work? Well, right now I'm a human. Okay. And in my natural form, I'm a dragon. That's crazy. Just like in your natural form, you're a goblin, I'm sure. Yeah, but that's the only form I got. Hmm, you can take on many. Is there a way to learn this power? Hmm. Not, not a promochromatic. <laughs> oh. For some. I mean, not that I'd want to change my form. This specimen is already pure perfection. Hmm. Very well. I mean, not as perfect as dragons, <laughs> you know. Very good choice in words. Now, <clears throat> what is it that you are doing flying north? I just heard some shit was going down. Hmm. Want to check it out? And you still plan on doing that? I mean, if, if you have a better idea, I mean, you know, plans can change. Well, I 
That is... I guess your call. As you have free will and all. Well, you we know. have we have free will, but we're open to suggestions. Very true. However, if you don't complete your missions, then where will the pay be in the end? But don't worry, Big doesn't leave the job unfinished. Hmm. It's hard to finish a job if things are ended. And out of your hands. Well, you need not worry. I mean, you know, unless you think, yeah, we're we're doing. It kind of sounds like you think we're doing something wrong. So I'm uh, I'm open to some course correction. Or no, no, I don't think you're doing anything wrong. I'm just wanting to see if your plan to sidetrack and get people out of towns or any of that is going to actually happen. I mean, that was more like a side hustle. You know, if we have time. Hmm. Very well. Mainly, we're here to solve the main problem at hand. Which is what? Fix whatever the hell's going on over there. Over where? North. Which direction north, you say? Very well. But where exactly is it that you're going north? We're going to Halma. <clears throat> a character Oklahoma uh, Homa technically at this time doesn't exist hey, where the fuck are we going you're going you're going north to the eroding everywhere you're going to the area where Homa really technically is but you can just say it's the marsh you're going to the marsh Out of character, all I know is I'm going there because that's where the car was taking me. Yep. I have no fucking idea why I went there last time. I just know that's where I'm going. Because that's where the the little Oh uh, yeah. Fairy dragon told you to go. Yeah, the quest giver told us. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so like uh For more pay. Well little, little pixie. Well, it, it was actually a dragon smaller than me. You wouldn't believe it. It was crazy. Anyway, that little thing told us that there was some stuff we had to solve up by the marshes. So they were going to go solve that problem. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, then. I'll go ahead and let Bahamut know that you are still planning on following through. Believe me, the last thing I want to do is, you know, cross a dragon. That's like, come on, not going to happen. Would be quite stupid. I want Bahuma to rest assured that if I fail, it's not because of any malice on my part. It's because of genuine ineptitude, probably, you know? I don't actually mean, you know, you know, I'm, I'm a team player. That's why I'm here, is to check on you. And so, with you ensuring what you have, I will be on my way. I did have one question, though. Hmm? You know... I mean, as you know, don't get me wrong. I'm flattered, but why pick us anyway? You know, if dragons can change forms and 
you know, they're dragons. Because true sight is a terrifying beast for those who are just polymorphed. The three of you can get in places that a normal being or dragon couldn't. And you handle yourself, quite obviously, very well. Yeah, that's true. That last guy didn't stand a chance. Exactly. And so, that is why we have picked you. No. I must go. And he just leans back off the carpet and falls. I hope he can survive. But he can. Roll 60d6. He <laughs> literally just halfway down polymorphs back into a dragon. And flies off. You know, you know, guys, I, I've never failed a mission before, but at the same time, I'm terrified of failing this one because our employers are dragons. What? Oh, wow. Well. Sure, the fate of the Dragon War rests on our shoulders, but... Wow. I think it's only fitting that history remembers that a goblin won the war. So, a week passes. And we're all dead, because none of us have eaten or drank. A flying. You guys have. And the carpet, thanks to Big, is big enough that all three of you can sleep on it. And going potty is as easy as pissing off the carpet and making people think it's rain. Man, that would have... That would have been really. Rain. That would have been really Don't difficult. While others feel the pain. It would have been really difficult to fail. It was here. Hey, you just hang the the whole bottom torso off. Yeah, no, nah, but that is a balancing act now. Nah, eh, not really. I mean, she could like lean back and like we could hold her arms. No, you just like sit on the edge, dangle your legs off, and like scoot forward bit. Boom. Done. I mean, it's not very graceful. Yeah, I am. We're fucking 600 feet in the air up, and she's pissing. I don't really think anybody expects grace. <laughs> Sorry, you want me to do a little fucking ballerina twirl before I fucking drop a shit for 400 feet? You know that splatter has, like, a fucking wide area of impact. The AoE on it. The AoE is fucking massive, dude. Let's just say... Taco Let's Knight say really is just, like, a war crime. It's like... <laughs> like, Big Hell the Mexican Knight. I don't... I don't... <laughs> Mexican night just sounds way more racist than Taco Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking Mexican night. I bet you guys have never tried some genuine goblin delicacies before. What, like chorizo? Yeah, it's just it's just Mexican food, except it's <laughs> goblin food in this world. I don't know. Uh... <laughs>
So, with that week having passed, you guys have another visitor. How do people keep fucking doing this? Can we put like a fucking Fuck off. like security <laughs> system in this thing? Uh, out of well, no, not out of character. While we're on the route, before we start talking, this, um, may I use my? Uh, you may not use your toilet. May no. I use my rod of lordly might to make sure we are heading in the proper direction. You're fucking what? One of the legendary items I got. After defeating the dragon. Holy shit. If I press button six, the rod assumes or remains in its normal form and indicates the magnetic north. Awesome. Um, you got a fucking yeah. legendary compass. Yeah, so okay. um pressing the rod, you find true north and find that you guys are just slightly off course. You're going more north uh North, yeah, it, should, it would be, yeah, northeast north. Okay. Instead of true north. Then I would like orcs. I, I suppose I'll let Big know, not actually. I go, yip, yip, and course correct. Cool. I just want to feel like there was. A... Thank you. Okay, so your little friend, or say little, hi, hello, uh, hello, good day. Are you another dragon? Um, well, I'm a person. But are you a dragon who's disguised as a person? Legally, you have to tell me if I've asked. <laughs> Is that a rule? Yes. When did Ooh. that happen? <laughs> I mean, no, there are no laws this high up. Oh, well, then there we go. Except the ones I make on my ship. You mean your sheet? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily for me, it's a piece of carpet. So, uh, can I help you? You sure can. Who's first? <clears throat> you got any food on you? Do we? That was under yeah. the impression we were all just slowly starving to death. You see, I feel like that's not the best introduction is you asking for food. We ran out of rations if we're, if we're calling all that. I haven't, had, I even need I haven't to eat. had rations. I don't even know if I need to eat, actually. Unless we're assuming he hunted as need. I don't see why we can't land occasionally. I was just assuming that you guys landed. Yeah. Okay. Like, there I know. I was just kind of joking around about starving to death. Won't burn my shit then. Thank you. Yeah, no, I was just assuming like what Turian said that you guys were just kind of landing every so often and like either just purchasing the rations or whatever. Good. Okay, so I don't want to sound like an asshole, but can, I, can we have more of an introduction before you take our food? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Um, hi. Good to meet you. Hi. You got a name? Pleasure's all yours, I'm sure. Big, or not a, and, uh, uh, Chusk, right? Yeah, it's Chusk. Cool. Uh, you're not with, you're not with child services, are you? Why, are you a child? Do you need to be service? Is that a hype joke?
I feel like you're personally trying to attack me. You're the one that said it. You're the one that's trying to trap me. Short fight, short fight, short fight. Listen, if you aren't going to give food to me, that's fine. You could have some of mine. You don't just look to get half food once he explains what his business is. I don't have an issue with giving him any food. You don't know what is he could be an enemy well, spy for Perfect. No. Thank you, Honada. So <clears throat> since the one with all the powerful items has decided he's going to grace me with his food. Learning out of character. Uh. These old bones aren't like they used to be. <clears throat> He's going to take a bite out of the food. So. <clears throat> Pleasure to meet you. The name's Hatu. Bless you. Thank you. But yeah, uh, Mr. Hatu, you have to understand uh, my apprehension. There's a war going on. There's conflict everywhere. Diseases. It, it, look, it, I'm a little suspicious of people these days. Hatu. Hatu, you're the one who approached me in my dream. Peanut butter makes a good protein. <laughs> okay. Um. Yes, it does. I don't quite think I understand what your question was there, boy. Are you talking to Hanoda in this case? Yeah. Oh, I have a question. Oh. There was no question. I was just pointing out that you're the one who uh, gave me this medallion. Three. Hmm. Well... Hi, I guess. Hello, it is good to meet you in person. Yeah, it's good to be in person. Of course. Little one, you've gotten quiet all of a sudden. I mean, I, I didn't want to break up the reunion. I mean, he's been dreaming about you all this time, I guess. I didn't want to ruin the moment. Well... Is there any questions, I guess, that you have for me? I have several questions that have been unanswered. I already told you my name. Okay. How can we help you? You already are. Okay, what else do you want? Ah, oh, just checking in. It's been a week. Ah, okay. It, that's all you had to say. Mm hmm. You, you gotta understand, you could be an enemy spy for all we know. Sure. An enemy spy. The dr dragons can transform into whatever they want. Very true. Very, very true. I mean, there's no telling if an enemy dragon could just turn into you, show up on the fucking carpet, well... and kill us all. That would be very disrespectful if a dragon turned into me. I mean, it's war. Does that really come into play? 
Uh, sometimes. I'm just saying. In war, we need to have a little bit better communication. Hmm. Well, the spies don't typically communicate with the ones in charge, do they? Well, no, I'm saying if you're going to talk to the spies, tell them spies who you are. Oh, okay, very well. Then, um, if that's the way spies work. You know, you know what we need? Let me tell you how spies work. You know what we need? A password. Okay. That um, way, if, if one of the good guys comes to find us, all they have to do is say the password, and we know it's them. It's got to be something that the enemy can't figure out. Well, how about this, then? Um, the password for me will be... Uh, cranberries. All right, cranberries. That's great. So next time you show up, just say cranberries, and we'll know it's you. Perfect. And we'll set up passwords with everybody else. That way, we know an enemy dragon hasn't tricked us. That works for me. You see, you might not know it, but I, I know a thing or two about waging war. I mean, granted, I've never fought a war before, but I have seen some goblin wars. And while they're small in scale, I mean, it's, it's still the same thing. Hmm. Well, it's good to know that you're on my side, then. You guys are the side that's paying. And what if the other side offered money? Well, here's the thing. If they offered money first, then I'd go with them. But I'm not going to double-cross you guys if they offer more now, because that would just be stupid on my part. Would it? I mean, because you don't slight dragons, you know? You don't, you don't do that. Because if I double-crossed you guys, I would have both sides trying to kill me. No, it's not going to happen. What about you two? Uh, what about me? The, do you feel the same way? I think he's being a little overdramatic. So I just want to punch the money some from stuff. the other side. No, I just want to punch some stuff, and you're giving me stuff to punch that are is supposed to save the world. So, because like if they win then the world ends, and then I can't punch things anymore. I would I would also be dead. Mm. So I really don't think they're gonna just, like, make an exception for me as they're killing people. They'll be like, thanks they, they for your scales. help. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna help that much. Hey, yeah, I, I was wondering. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, I know it doesn't matter because you're the one paying us, so we gotta do the job anyway, but... Do you have any background you can give on this conflict? I mean, you know, a little bit of context. I just know dragons get... Dragons are mad. People are mad. Everyone's mad. So what, well, are, the, what, are, what are the good guys fighting for? Um... To not... Live under the well, that depends on who the good guys are for you. You're the ones paying, so you're the good guys. Oh, okay. Well, then, if you're if you're rooting for this side, it's the fact that we don't want anyone in the material plane to live under the rule of the dragon queen Tiamat. Ah, uh, you see, I've heard of this Tiamat person. She sounds like a real piece of work. Uh, she certainly can be. She has a, uh... 
motivation about her that just doesn't doesn't mesh with this plane. You mean to say she wishes to kill everyone? One slave? Very, yes. Very, very, yes. Well, thankfully, we have an army of big, strong dragons to take her down, right? Right. How many do we have on our side, anyway? Yep. Well, considering the fact that the... Mankind have not been uh, too supportive up until recently. Uh, the dragons have fallen into very small numbers in comparison to what they once were. So, so you're saying it's not going to be quite as simple as just leading the dragon army to Merc Tiamat. Correct. Oh, boy. Is he having... Look, I never leave a job unfinished, but, you know, it, I'm going to have to raise my rates if you tell me i got to kill Tiamat. You know, just saying. No, you personally don't have to kill her at all. I mean, I'll certainly try, but... Only a true hero could kill Tiamat. Okay, well... And I'm if yeah. you're too afraid to do such a thing... I don't think you're in a position to say that when you're the ones that hired me. I hired you as a spy. And you made it clear that you were not going to be doing the front battles. I'll do whatever I'm paid to do. I'm just saying it costs a little more. You want me to kill Tiamat? I'll kill Tiamat. That's the premium rate. For now, we'll do some spy work. And you know, we are getting a little dragon killing practice of our own, so. Mm, yes, I do know that. Congratulations, you killed one. Yeah, we killed. And. That's what she's just like five times the dragon, right? That's fine. Right. Really, it's not even a full five times because there isn't five full dragons there. It's one dragon with five heads. Way I figure it. If if us three can kill one dragon, uh, uh, just just send look. To send like we... two more people from California, and we can kill Tiamat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> What's his name again? Bacon? Oh. Big. Oh. Chuck. Hatu. Hatu, then. Bless you. Me an actual... um, well, they didn't know what you were talking about, so. Uh, Hatu. I do not know anything of this Tiamat. of danger outside of the desire to enslave and well, murder and war of course. Uh, her ability to murder and uh, enslave are you you're asking me what dangers the dragon queen may present ah see I did not know see look let me break it down for you Honda it's imagine it's Honoda. Honoda. Imagine. Get this like, right, or I'm not gonna stop talking to you. Imagine the worst kind of ex-wife. Now imagine she's a dragon with five heads. That's Tiamat. She seems like a real nasty bitch. But and you know what? Those are those drove me nuts. Kobolds were always so obnoxious about it, too. They were never invited to the cave parties. They are... the ground army of hers. Yeah, and they were the worst. 
Goblins and kobolds, you know, they don't see eye to eye. Kobolds can only ever talk about Tiamat, Tiamat, Tiamat. That would make sense. Seeing as every time she goes away, they somehow make it back into the plane and start the cycle all over. Kobolds on a plane. So what is your plan for the war anyway? I mean, you know, you got us for spying, but how are you going to kill Tiamat? Well, I have a group of heroes that are taking care of the generals that the three of you are not going to be going to. I'm sure they're far more competent than us. They are more forward in a battle than the three of you are. And that is not me trying to jab at you. That is, in fact, me saying you are more competent at the faraway battles and the battles of wit than they are. I get it. You know, we're not some knuckle-dragging barbarians. Maybe in a different life. The the way that we are going about it is we are trying to make sure that as much of her power as we can take down is taken away. Every general that you kill takes away a bit of power from her. So all we gotta do is just kill all the generals, and she'll be a weakling. She will be much weaker than than in her higher form, yes. Piece of cake. If only. I mean, we killed that one dragon. Was that one dragon a general? Yes, the red. Oh. Oh, we're already, like, we're, we're most of the way there already. Cool. How many generals are there? Yeah, I'm assuming like one for each head, so we already did like 20% of the work. That's correct, actually, yes. Ah, there are five oh, and I'm going to guess each one is uh, color-coded with each head. Tell you what, where's the next general? You're ah. heading to it. All oh, right. Sick. sick nasty, let's go. We killed like the literal embodiment of one of the four horsemen. We're good. And hey, as long as these dragons keep having valuable hearts, I'll keep ripping them out. Very well. Evil hearts. Not the good ones. Do you know which is which? I'm going to I mean, if the dra- and say no. If the dragon's shooting fire at me, they're the ones I rip the hearts out of. There's an easy way to tell. I, I know how... Uh... If they're just a regular color, they're bad. But if they're a shiny color, they're good. Uh, more specifically, if they are metallic. Yes. Shiny color. Copper, silver, gold. Bronze. Silver. Uh, yes, I said silver. Oh, I did not hear you say silver. So you're saying... All we gotta do is kill the five generals, we make a fortune off their parts, and then the the real heroes will kill Tiamat with no problems. So, we're like assassins. That was what you were hired for, yes. Alright, I'm in, let's go. This is like a win-win situation, we're the big heroes, we don't have to fight a literal, we don't have to fight a literal god, and, you know, we get paid a shit ton from dragon parts. And on top of that, you don't have to worry about all of the fame and fortune that comes with being the true hero. Look, fame is not a thing a thief wants. If you're a famous thief, you're a bad thief. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. You may be interested in keeping your identity secret, but my family could always benefit from the prestige of having a son that looks for it. Look, there's a reason. I take pride in going into a tavern and nobody knowing the name Big. It means I'm doing my job well. 
That is where you and I are different. I do not care if my name is known. Well, unless it's for someone trying to stab me in the back. Look. Fame. puts his knife away and stops looking at his back. It's proven. Fame makes you a worse thief because you become a known quantity. You're only allowed to become known when it's like the last one. Like the big final fucking like uh, heist. That way you can go in the history books. Well, um... What other questions do you have for me? Uh, do you have any intel on this dragon we're going to face? Um, the best I can offer you is that it's green. Green? Hmm. Well, what kind of breath does it have? Acidic or poison? I had to guess. Mm. Perhaps I'm wrong. I don't know anything about dragons. I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, considering the fact that you three are my sneaky sneakies, it's kind of hard for me to really give you more info than what I honestly have. If it's if it's too much for you to handle, you just uh, let we me We go know. find the big green fucking lizard and make the big green lizard fucking not breathe no more. Understood. But if you can't handle it, that's perfectly fine. I can call gonna... for my heroes to come. I'm gonna hey. use my hey. ghost hands to strangle the fucking green dragon. And I'm gonna use my real hands to desecrate its fucking body and make another cool piece of equipment. Very well. Or die trying. That is, I'm just going to let you understand, uh, that is a n known possible event. That, that, is, that is an outcome that is on the table. And, I t and I'll tell you what. I have a noble goal after I kill the rest of the dragons. And after I sell off the dragon body parts and become rich beyond my wildest dreams, I will do the most noble thing I've ever done. I'll, I'll pay off the child support bills. Uh. Okay. <laughs> and then I never have to see those bitches again. Uh, the, wait, the moms or the children? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is. Inclusive. Set them up and watch them spike it down. How many kids you got? I don't know. Oh shit! The court, the the, pa the court paperwork should tell you. I might have to flee the continent with my fortune, <laughs> but hey. I just I, I have a suggestion. Stop fucking everything that moves. I'm a goblin. Whoa, 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 whoa! That is a gateway to necrophilia, and I will not have you poison his head with such ideas. That is a fair point. So stop fucking every alive thing. Look! Yeah, we're right back into necrophilia! Now you're, you're just objectively telling him to fuck dead things! Well, at least they can't- well... Oh, wow. I'm going a really dark route here. At least they can't have kids. God. Jeez. <laughs> oh, no. As far as you know. Yeah. Death is the best fucking uh, sex protection. Look, you have to remember something, Honda. All right, I'm done. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh, jump off! Jump off! Jump off! It's it's just uh, how God would. Have you it. know what? Okay, here. I need you to make a wisdom save. What are you gonna do to me? You gotta do something. He's gonna kill me. Uh, okay. Wisdom save. Where's my... Okay, cool. That's an 11. Alright. <clears throat> oh, oh, here's, here's, here's the fun part. 
Did you just do what I think you did? I heard a rumor that you will call me by my correct name for the next eight hours. Whenever you are going to say my name normally. You can't not do it. And if you intentionally... So uh, sorry, hold on. Let me make sure I get this. Okay. You're going to say my name correctly. Or... No. Yes, Daddy. Can't do that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no. You're just going to say my name correctly for the next eight hours. Is that the end of the command? Um... And then you're gonna you're gonna give fifty gold to uh, Chusk. Is that the end of the command? That would be it. Okay, you said, uh, you know, he has to say your name correctly, and he can't purposefully say it incorrectly. The problem is he's not purposefully saying it incorrectly. He's just an idiot, <laughs> so he's still gonna miss. Mispronounce it. Nah, see, I've said it a couple you times can't, now. You, you don't get to say you you're a fucking, fucking moron. impediment. You're gonna work through that. Impediment. You're gonna work through that. No, you just no. You're just saying he can't intentionally do it. He doesn't say anything about unintentionally. Doing is, it. You don't get to. <laughs> you, I, the the first part of the command is you have to say it correctly. So yeah, you're gonna say a Hanoda. Question to the dungeon. Honda. Shut the fuck up. It's not his choice here. Well, I mean, I guess it is. Shut the fuck Whoa. up, Whoa! Whoa! I'm sensing some hostility here. I am gonna be hostile. Stop fucking up every single name I have for a character in both different fucking campaigns. I'm tired of it, and so I'm that's, forcing you. That's why I use pronouns because I don't Hanoda. fucking remember. Not Honda. Not fucking Honda. <laughs> to be fair, it's in character because every character makes an idiot. I don't care. Micah's an idiot and she still says the right things. Yeah, and then we all said Micah's name wrong. <laughs> well, at least in this case, I can say, you're gonna do it. So, Hanada! Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking kill ya. <laughs> well, how the fuck are you say it? Hanoda! I've Hanoda. said it, like, five times! Okay, I think that was Apple actually just being not smart, like, IRL. Jesus Christ. Hanoda. Thank you. So I know that something you gotta remember about goblins Ugh. is, you know, reproduction. Reproduction is just a part of our lives, you know? <sighs> Why do you think every cave you run into has goblins in it? Because not from lack of trying. That that's a nice home. I don't know. Yeah. There's a reason we're in every single cave. Yeah, there are a lot of us. Note to self, put goblins in every cave. I mean, I thought that was just D&D &D 101. Oh, okay. <laughs> note, note to self, make sure the goblins are naked, so uh, the world building of where goblins come from has been established. Sticks has to roll to see if one of Six's ex-wives, I mean, one of Big's ex-wives. You know why I keep saying Sticks? Because that fucking video game. What video game? Well, you play as a goblin thief named Styx. Oh, and yeah. then since there's a Styx here, I keep saying Styx instead of Big. So, you know, really, you can't blame me for, you know, doing what a goblin does. Also, I feel compelled to give you 50 gold, uh, huh. Chusk. Hell yeah. I don't know why. Can we just take it off of my debt? Yeah, that seems fair. And I take the 50 was, gold back. How much How much was the debt anyway, was it? I don't... I, wasn't it like... I don't remember. That'd be was, awesome! That means I don't have a fucking debt anymore. Let's go! I mean, it was a fair amount of gold. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> no Alright, it was no 800 more. gold. Fuck. <laughs> now, it's 750.
What did you even buy that was worth that much? I forgot. It was the cape. I had to pay oh. to get the 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 wings turned into the cape. Fair enough. I think it'd be easier. <laughs> Yeah, I think it'd just be easier if I just called you Elf. Can I just call you Elf? Not currently, no. I mean, that's not saying your name wrong. I said you have to say my name in a context where you would normally say my name. No, okay, you get no. to say Hanoda for What's the next eight name? hours. I don't like his brainwashing power. What the fuck? Yeah, this one seems kind of rapey, actually. Oh, it's High not. Level. High level spells. Yeah, can I have fucking wish? If you were a... Well, no, I don't think that type of rogue actually gets that. So yeah, if you were a wizard. What level or... spell is wish? Ninth? Yeah. Okay, then none of us would get it. Okay, can I get wish, but like in a Jiminy Cricket type situation? <laughs> Oh, Hanoda! Yes? In eight hours, if you don't want to brainwash me anymore, why don't we just refer to each other as, like, you can be Elf, I'll be Goblin, and he can be Lizard. That way, no risk of mispronunciation. See, I'm fine with that after the eight hours. Look, I don't mean anything by it. You have to remember. As a goblin. What are you about to say? You're a moron? <laughs> Whoa. That's out of character comment. <laughs> Sorry. As a goblin. Most goblin names are pretty short. I'm not used to these, like, you know. Three syllables? I know. Not really in your vocabulary, is it? Oh, absolutely not. My name is... <laughs> Chusk. Like one syllable names is, a, you know, the average goblin name. It, it, you know, it's hard. I'm loving these emotional moments that you're all having together as a team. Oh yes. Hey, can I? Hey, can I submit a complaint to HR about him brainwashing me? It does well, feel very rapey. If we win the war, then we will have an HR. So maybe. Is human resources? Oh, wait a minute. What is it? Yeah, we don't, What's it we called? Don't, we don't have human HR? Resources. Wait, do we even have workmen's comp? Wait, do they have... Wait, they don't have humans, so who... So what is it? <laughs> it's humanitary resources. Wait, wait. What does humanitarian yeah, mean? What, what does it mean? Humans are a thing yet. Wait, unless humans were named after humanity? Mm. Oh, man, we're getting to, like, some chicken in the egg situation here. So would it be, like, <laughs> ER... Like elf resources, or I mean, it'd probably be ER for like employee employee resources. No, no, no. HR hero resources. We did it. I'd go. like to contact hero resources we did about it. the about the brainwashing. Well, I remember. Really... <laughs> Here's the thing: you have flat out said you don't want to be a hero, so. I did it. I remembered the fucking first grade level word that starts with H. <laughs> if you want to be a hero, maybe we can get you into hero resources. Oh, I see. We're just an external contractor. I, I don't see. like that. Keep, keep, the tax, keep the cat the taxes down. I'd like to think we're heroes, even if we're not killing TMI herself. I mean, you know, killing five dragons is pretty heroic. I'm just repeating to you what you said. How many dragons have you killed? Me? Yeah. Probably somewhere in the range of 3,000. Oh, uh, yeah. And yet here we are. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess uh, they were this big, huh? Oh, I killed 11 billion dragons. All right, well, if you're just going to joke around, that's fine. Uh, I'm sorry, we get bored up here. 
We no, we gotta, we gotta keep the morale up, man. We gotta kill four more dragons. It's gonna be a slog. You're killing one more. Wait, I thought we had to kill four more, because I thought we had to kill all the generals. No. Remember. Well, we gotta kill one more? I told you flat out. Oh, shit, hell yeah. You, you guys are killing two, the other heroes are killing the rest. Oh, no, okay, cool, no. I'll co I'd like to formally withdraw any complaints or shit talk that I had previously, thank you. Yeah, so we just kill this dragon and we win. Correct. No, no, actually not correct. <laughs> you kill it and oh, and then we get paid and we win personally. Like well, on a... I guess, I guess technically, if you decide that that's the point where you want to stop being heroes, depends on how big the pay is. Yeah. I guess we'll see if you even make it out. Oh, we will. Hmm. <laughs> Very well. Well, enjoy the rest of your flight. I've got other groups to attend to. Very well, hey. Atu. Hey, tell the other group I said hi. Oh, I can do that for you. It would yes. really confuse them. Big the Goblin has said hi. I thought you didn't want your name everywhere. Oh shit! Then bye. going to step off the back end of the carpet. Wait, no. Use my code name, Sticks. And as he does so, he polymorphs, and you guys watch as a metallic dragon flies off. That isn't. Quite silver. Uh oh. But a more pure metal. That's for my note takers. Woo! Oh, well, I, I only have one of those, huh? <laughs> Hopefully that group doesn't go spreading around my name or anything like that. We're probably or going else... to ask who the fuck Big the Goblin is. Hey, you know, that's good test. If they don't know who I am, it means my job is working. All it means is that Hatu is just going to tell them exactly who he is. He's the secret spy. Like, it doesn't matter. He'll like we're gonna kill this dragon and then we're gonna retire. Uh I'll hire Chusk as my personal bodyguard. Mm. Well Hey, have you guys ever thought about opening a tavern? No. Okay. Uh, no. Um, well, going to say that as you guys finally reach the eroding Everglades, you come up on this. Oh, all right, then. Yo, that looks fucking sick as hell. It's water deep. <laughs> hey. There's probably like a bull shark in the fucking... Large bayou city. Where most of the old buildings are built up into the swampy cliffs. The buildings resemble more ships sticking out. 
most of them connected by old rickety rope bridges strung out across the swampy marsh. As you arrive, it is evening time, and you can see lanterns that have been lit with dull orange glows coming from the windows. But strangely enough, there is no one out and about. I need I'm gonna have all of you guys make perception checks. Hell yeah. I will perceive. Uh Chusk has Oh hell yeah. Twenty one. So that is a 30. Okay. You guys all passed. I perceive. Is a 30 a super passing? <laughs> yes, we'll say that it's super passing. I mean, I never it's get so, 30s. It's so passing that you can see it into the ultraviolet spectrum of light for five And minutes. you're blind. Good job. You have roasted your eyeballs. Good, good job. Okay. <clears throat> I uh you guys since you passed, you guys can see um as you're coming up on the city that while there are no signs of people walking around and you do have these dim lights. You can see shadows passing by the windows every so often. It's really hard to tell, though, what that shadow may be through the green haze, which has filled the air like a thick fog. Blaze it. I need each of you to make a constitution saving throw. Ah, oh, that shouldn't be that hard. Or Fuck. else you'll... Yeah, it's gonna be... That's a 23 from me. If you guys don't I pass, want to use then you will again. end up taking... a deep sickness into your body. Ooh, I, I, I... I got a 16. Uh, I got a 23. Okay. Okay, you all passed. I think. Play that one. Got it. Oh, no, definitely not. High up in the cliffs from. Where you're looking right now. Uh, you can see... There are uh, steps that are made of wood. They seem to be wide enough to be able to carry heavy loads. Going all the way up seven... Eight more floors. And this fun little entry into the swamps is where we're going to call it a night. I don't think I've done so much role playing in my life. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jesus. Yeah. You guys did great role playing tonight. Good job. Not, not since the last fade to black. <laughs> <laughs>